simple it's a different situation listen we are here for is this is this the is this the fifth trucker report i believe you're right they didn't think we could do it <laughs> they hated on us philip came through and said it could be done listen gotta get them reps in so people feel like they don't know you bro they don't oh. know you they do you have your Instagram up for them to follow you on the gram? They trying to inbox you and all that. <laughs> What's going well, on, bro? As far as the other socials are concerned, you can inbox me, but I'm not a I'm not an active poster. This is this is kind of my realm of where I exist on the internet, you know, in the media space as far as giving you our opinions, giving you perspective, giving you some enlightenment, you know what I'm saying? It's a good time over here. Listen, but listen. this is where you can catch me. <laughs> the biddies ain't trying to hit none of that, dog. Hey, they trying listen. to jump in the DMs, doggy. What you hey, mean? Hey, hit the hit the IG, just feel twenty three. Just or, feel twenty three. You know, you can catch me here live on Rumble, 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 because <laughs> you know you do have your own Rumble. What, what, what is what, what's the numbers on that? You are how many followers do you have on Rumble now? Ah, uh, that is a good question. I have not checked in a few days. The last time I looked, I believe I had around fifteen. Let's see. As of right now, I have eighteen followers. Okay, eighteen yeah. followers on Rumble. Let's hit the button. Yeah. Here. So far, I have two videos there. I have more content dropping today. More content dropping today. Okay. Well, we, we need to get you to get the numbers up. Oh, yeah. You can start doing them lives over there. Y'all know who Just Phil is. He being live all the time. I just want to give time for y'all to understand who Just Phil is before we start. We got time for truck reports. Everybody's not in yet. First of all, who is burning miles right now? Who is driving? Today is a good day Uh, when y'all both on. Appreciate that, Danny. We are trying to figure out in this day and age what's going to happen with the future of trucking. You're also scared because companies are shutting down on the low. Yeah. They're not doing it publicly no more. It's on the lousy. People are crashing and disappearing. These are things y'all need to know. It can't always be about hot cooning and double jigaboo, and it can't always be about that. Sometimes you got to get to the serious stuff, and Phil brings us the serious shit. So we're going to let Phil drop his first article right now speak on it and give his point of view on it if you like to learn about trucking this is the place to be this is some of the people you need to know take it away phil all right so we're gonna ease into it uh, starting off with something a little light i mean unfortunate but it's light so there was an accident this last couple of days over in Washington, um, unfortunately, it resulted in death, resulting from large truck crashes where newly licensed drivers are involved, which is continuing to be an issue. Uh, the percentage of fatal large truck and bus crashes involving newer drivers and new carriers has gone from 4.67% to in the last five years as a total result of nearly 500 deaths and $5.5 billion in cost. Got to be safe out here, people. It's, it's oh. getting ugly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They crashed, and how many people got hit? How much was it? So within the last five years, just under 500 people have died from a uh, large truck and bus accidents. So some of these people weren't even truckers. They're just, they were just around. Yeah, well, a lot of the results have been, you know, based on the data, have been newer, newer carriers, newer drivers, you know, people who have had their CDL for a long time, you know, or maybe somebody which is a common thing, maybe somebody from a, a different country or a different area that didn't necessarily get the proper training, you know, and it's Rookies causing... are ruining trucking. And, yes. And the reason I say this is because looking at the chart data specifically from 2020 forward till now, there's been a 2% increase. So there has been a serious issue with newer drivers and people jumping into the industry that <laughs> don't know what they're doing and mm -hmm. didn't get the correct training. And as a result, people are dying. And this doesn't even account for the just the people crashing the truck, period. This is just the people that have died. What about the young bucks that you've noticed is getting them into this situation? What do you think? What do you think? I'm not trying to set you up here. You know, you know what just... it is? It's, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's, it's this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see this? You oh, see, you see oh. this? this device is the reason the majority of y'all don't know what y'all doing out here in the street. It's you a think problem. The, the phone is a problem? Yes, it's the biggest distraction in the world. I mean, I'm I'm part of that too. I, it's 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 always here. I got two of them for crying out loud. Like, I mean, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I got three. Jesus. But I mean, we didn't crash. Why are the young bucks can't play with their <laughs> phone? And, we not crashing though. Listen, they too busy trying to TikTok and get hot in the street than to care about driving a truck down the road. <laughs> it. Listen, it is what it is. Phil says this is gonna be the buzz. You know why? 
Phil says that y'all cannot focus on your job. You're too busy on TikTok looking at butt. That's right. It's absolutely a fact. And this is this is this is a, a gender universal. Whatever your your affiliation is or whatever you identify as, this applies regardless because all of y'all do it. Yes, there are a few exceptions, and shout out to y'all because y'all are great. But everybody else, the mass majority, y'all too busy paying attention to your phone, trying to get hot, trying to make a social media presence, trying to have in, be an influencer and all this other nonsense. And you should just be going down the road and being great at your job. Here's the question. Should they have the four, you know, some of the companies have the sensor. It's not a camera, mm -hmm. but it can tell you're touching your phone. You think everybody should have that on the truck now? Yes, yes. My company has them. And for my own personal experience reasons, there's a, there's a reason that I don't like the cameras because I've been at carriers where they invaded my privacy. So for that aspect, I don't like it. But with who I work for That's now... <laughs> <laughs> That's what that means. Listen, they was in my conversations and I couldn't appreciate that. Like, mm. oh, we knew you were on the phone. Like, why are you listening to my phone calls? That's that's my problem. But I will say with the newer systems, like with the carrier that I work for, yes, we have the cameras, but they are AI controlled, meaning they're only recording when you're doing something you ain't got no business. I mean, sometimes it does do some false positives, and thankfully that goes under manual review and they'll just pass it off like for example, the other day, it the computer thought I um, was in and out of lane, but I was on a country road. So, of course, there's right. hardly any lines there. So, you know, stuff like that happens. But aside from that, it's only going to clock you when it knows you're doing something. You ain't got no business. Right, right. That, that, I mean, I, I did like that because it's like you're not watching me, but the sensor yeah. knows when you're reaching for the phone. I, right. I personally am not a big phone guy. Once I let it run, yeah. I just let it run and I'm just listening to it. And the thing that I, I will say I appreciate about it is that it can distinguish between when the phone's mounted like it should be versus when it's actually in your hand or if you pick up a call. I've I've gotten flagged for it because I was picking up calls from my supervisor because I left my headphones that day for some reason. So I actually picked up the phone and was talking and driving. So, yeah, I'm guilty of it. And it did ding me for that. And they talked about it, but it wasn't a big deal. They weren't sweating me about it because they knew I was actually talking to them. So. Right, like, hey, right. if you can help it, just you know, pull over and take the call. Because I'm gonna have young buck out. How are you gonna tell me not to be on the phone? You're you gonna tell me not to be on the phone, but this dude won't use the call com. He keep texting and calling me. Right. Well, Come at on, that now. point, pick. at that point, you're gonna have to either, like I say, you gotta pull over or you know, get you some earbuds since nobody likes to wear the headsets anymore, and you know, use your voice command, use Siri or whoever your phone uses, and make the call. Other than that, they just gonna have to wait, and you have to ignore your phone. That's all I can tell you. Like you just you're just gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, listen, you young bucks, you're ruining trucking. We want you out of here. <laughs> We're just playing. We're just playing. We're just yeah. playing. Y'all of the future, and we love y'all and all that crap. We don't mean. Yeah. What's the next article, Philion? Okay, so moving down the way, there was some interesting changes going on with marijuana. Uh oh. Well, stop. We know y'all like doing drugs. So he's about to tell you about all the weed heads. Perk up. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah. So article reads as follows. Feds must change discriminatory marijuana testing policies to address the trucking industry labor shortage. I'm going to pause right there. Okay. You need so we screen? Are you about to go in? I just want to get your opinion real quick. Okay. Before we get into this, do you believe that there is a trucker shortage? No. I be I, be I believe if the tr if there was a trucker shortage, it would end if they actually pay truckers. Trucker I, I believe that it should be switched to the average trucker should take home $1800 a week. Period. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about from company up. Yeah. It, like it, should, it. it should be $1,800 a week. If it was around eighteen dollars to $2,000 a week, drivers would feel like it's a worth it thing. But they, you have drivers walking away with $700, $1,100. And the truth is they can find more lucrative stuff to do at home. Before, there was nothing at home that would pay you this much. Now, there's shit at home that will pay you that much. So it's like, why am I going to be OTR? Why am I going to drive a truck? So just to put a solid number to it, you feel like uh, your average company driver should be making 70000 plus a year? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And, 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 and the funny thing is they should be making mm-hmm. that. And that's still not enough to live in a major city. They right. Realistically, you need to be making 85, 90. Honestly, 80. I ain't going to say 90. I'm going to say 95 to 100. To and live you won't, in a you won't city. have a savings in a major city. You'll be able yeah. to live, but you won't have a savings. That's enough for you. Yeah, you you'll like, have a dope crib, but you'll be broke. <laughs> you'll, be broke. you'll be broke. It's like you'll go to the bar that yeah. Friday and the rest of the weekend you'll be in the house. Oh, yeah. Because we do know now in Denver, you know, you're going to need a bag to live in Denver. You're going to need a bag <sighs> to live in L.A. You're going to need a bag to live in Miami. You're going to need a bag to live in Atlanta. Most of the black from Atlanta, Houston. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to need a hundred to live where you want to in those cities. Right. So I, I, I feel like if y'all, the re, if there is a shortage, let's say we believe you there's a shortage. Is a shortage is you don't want to pay the drivers, so drivers don't think it's worth it. And it's not right. if you're going to pay me. Right. Because when we go to over to Love's Hall and Fuel, they're not having a problem getting people. <laughs> if anything, they're they're trying to beat people down with that waiting list. Come on now. So, you know, uh, you know you, it's not a problem when y'all pay. The problem is that General Freight believes you sh- you don't do no work. You don't deserve any money. Right. And people are getting hip to it. and They're just not doing it. And I give you another angle, too. When you didn't did this for so long, the guys whose kids are reaching 21, they're telling them not to get into it. Oh, absolutely. I, I can't tell you how many first generation truckers that are like, oh, my kids are doing this in tech or they're going to medical school or they're yeah. going to be a lawyer. They're doing anything that has nothing to do with trucking. Yes. They're telling their kids it's not worth it. That means that y'all have been raping and stealing for so long. They're not you're supposed the, the the social agreement has always been you work here, you liked it here for 20, 30 years, you bring me your children. Yeah. That's how it usually goes. But now yeah, the, the old saying was uh, you do what your father did. You, know? you do what your father did. Now when he says, Oh, dad, I like your truck. Nope, you're not gonna be a truck, you're gonna be something else. That's because yeah. you've been treating people so long, you've been raping them for money for so long that people aren't willing to put their kids in that position. Who would? Exactly. Who would, man? Come on now. We we y'all know the truth. Especially not when you have trades like, and I, it's so slept on. I don't get why people, more people don't get into this, but things like plumbing, yeah. electrician, HVAC, welding, welding. Oh my God, man. If I could go back in time, granted, I love what I do. Been doing it for almost a decade. I'm not doing nothing else, but I'm telling you anybody that is either 21, you know, early twenties, even 18 that hasn't gotten their class A yet. I mean, still get it you because because you can use it in other industries. Mind you, I'm not saying don't get your CDL. Right. But I'm telling you, if you can go into welding or HVAC, yeah, you I have a near infinite. You have a near infinite amount of opportunity, and, and the pay is. I mean, granted, yes, for any career, like you spoke about, uh, I believe it was last week. Regardless of what field you get into, you're gonna be broke for two years. So just just take yeah. the L. No, yeah. there's no ducking. There's no ducking that. Like you just gotta be an apprentice, right? But if you can make it past those two years, oh my uh, god, heavy equipment operation, <sighs> crane place, operator, the places we're naming, they all yeah. have union houses all over the country. Yes, benefits. You'll be well taken care of. Your health benefits, will be better. Retirement. Yeah. The lifestyle would be better. I mean, for y'all that let love to be in the street, love to be outside, as the young people say. I'm telling you, going into some of these other these other trades, like I said, I'm not saying don't get your CDO. If that is the best yeah. option, some for of you, them you still it. have to get your CDO. Yes, you do, but especially <laughs> things like electrician, you're still going to be driving a, a class B, if not class, class B a truck. crane. You still need your CDO yeah. class A, and they will right. get it for you. But understand, your 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 job is a little bit different. But the truth is, y'all would have more people. If they looked, the reason why people don't go into your field is because the generation that's there now has looked at the generation before and said, I don't want to be in that position. Right. That's what happened. And that happened because y'all put more of the money at the top and you didn't pay the people who's, who's paying the bills, really. That's the right. Just quitting. They're just like, I don't want to do this. And, and they're going home and just doing something else. Yeah. Which they can do because, you know, wh- why would I stay and not make money? Exactly. That's, that's one thing I don't understand about our industry. There's some good companies out there, but there's a lot of raggedy companies like Tradition, Raggedy, uh, Hurricane, Raggedy, Ugh. Beautiful Trucks, Raggedy Company. Listen, Roadrunner, Raggedy. raggedy. <laughs> Come on, man. There's a lot yeah. of them out there, bro. Yeah. You know, Ashley Furniture, Raggedy, bro. JR Shugel, Raggedy. 
<laughs> refrigerated southern transport <laughs> raggedy oh what are we God. talking about man we know the companies that are doing what they're supposed to do and not doing what they're supposed to do we we know the companies we're not dumb we've been around for a while and after a while you get a you get a you get a reputation so bad that people just stop coming yeah and then then you say oh it's a shortage no you blew out two thousand people in the last 10 years exactly some of those, that's why there's a intake and there's a retention. The truth yeah. is, it's not a driver shortage. It's a retention problem. Exactly. They're said there's like 6 million people with their CDL. Yeah, just about. Six and, as far, and out of that 6 million, there's only about 2 give million. Take a, I wouldn't even say that much. I would say give or take 200,000 work drivers. That are willing to do the job. Yeah. Yeah, and then you have you what you what y'all do is y'all y'all rely on keep pulling in rookies and burning them out. Yep, that's y'all shit. Bring the out as many method, burn them out. Just continue to abuse. <laughs> yeah, and y'all keep holding the money. I'm sure that's yeah. a very lucrative way to go. But is it is it the the favorite word they, that nobody likes to hear in the money room? Is sustainable? Is it sustainable? Exactly, sustainability. And, and I feel like we are finally hitting the end of what they thought to be sustainable. Right. And the companies that are going to end up on top are the ones that have very good reputations like Western yeah. Distribution. Yeah. Oh, places right. like that. Uh, yeah. uh, that's a couple of them I can't say, but, you know. Right. You Western, know, it, Western, you know. You know. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> Western Distribution. Maverick seems to be doing very well. Yeah. Maverick people, is solid. people like that company. Yeah. Uh, Melton Truck Lines never had any issues. Yeah. Wiley can't yeah, seem Wiley. to lose. Yeah. How are they doing it then? Exactly. Wiley, you get decent, uh, high industry pay. They have home every weekend options, stuff like that. that you know, and, you know, uh, I, Prime, like I tell people, the reason why Prime is not going to lose because it is a good deal when you're starting. And I, if I, like, I got to offer some pushback on what? As far as Prime. What makes it not a good deal? I mean, on paper, yes, it is solid. You cannot deny that they, you know, they stick to their word. However, as we know, because <laughs> your boy has spoken about it. You have to play their game. Well, I mean, listen, there's no company you go to. You don't have to play their game. One, number two, doing social media is not part of your job. I tell people all the time, if you go there and don't do social media, you will love Prime. The, yeah. real tr the real truth is the worst thing you can do to your career is do social media. So that's not Prime's fault. That's our fault for doing social media. You yeah. can't go work at, you can't go work at, um, uh, uh, What's them the, that bank in New York? Everybody, what's the famous bank in New York? Uh, Marilyn Lynch, something like that. Yeah, something like that. You see any of them with a YouTube? No, not at all. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever. I mean, I'm sure there are some out there, but I, it's not common. No. to see a banker on the internet. No, it, <laughs> it, if you see one on, on out there, they worked for, for right. They yeah, work they use like right. They're reformer. Yeah. yeah. So the truth is, if you go to Prime and don't have a channel. You'll love Prime. If you go to tr Prime and train, you'll love Prime. If you do not go train and don't start a uh, channel, you'll yeah. be fine. But if you start a channel, you're not going to be fine, bro. So when, I, when I'm talking, see, when we're talking to people, to this many people, we have to put yeah. it in the context of the masses. The truth is the masses right. don't have a truck in YouTube. Right. It's but a, if I will say, too, that I feel like that not is, I mean, not just a channel, but I feel like that crosses over to social media, period. It you definitely know, crosses over to social TikTok media. TikTok is still a factor. Instagram is still a factor. All of these Hell, even factor. Facebook. <laughs> definitely. You know? yeah. I definitely feel it's still a factor, but that's any company, unless the company yeah. is not interested in growing to a certain size. If you go to one right. of these farms, like, they don't give a shit about the internet. Oh, yeah. Don't care about that. They, but we're I mean, even my company about, like, hey, just don't just don't put our name on it. That's all we are. We have to put it in the correct context of when a person's coming in the yeah. game. I have no connections. I have no experience. Where can I go and get 50 cent a mile? And they're actually going to give you the money. Where can I go right. lease and get a real percentage? It's still going to be prime, bro. Right. Like I said, even if we don't like them, you can't say that if your little cousin came up to you and was like, I want to make a decent amount of money just coming in. Yeah. You're going to have yeah. to tell, even if you don't want to, and it hurts, you're going to have to say prime. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Cause my, here's a good one. Who's paying more than prime walking in the door. None that I can name off the top of my head. And it's about keep... marketing. Correct. Yeah. Cause we know there's someone that does. Oh yeah. I mean, we know. Yeah. Ones that do. I mean, I know yeah. some, but I'm not going to mention them. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to throw the names know. out there. Yeah, but, even, but even if you do, you have to live near them. 
Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, you, location is very subjective to some of these places. Bingo. So when yeah. you when a kid comes up to you, it is your responsibility as a creator now on a big platform to tell them the best thing for their situation. So you're going to say, yeah. look, dude, you're going to have to go to Prime, but here's what you don't do. Don't make a YouTube. Yep. Don't show your truck. Yep. That's the big one right say, there. Oh, say that. Say that. One. Do not show your truck. Yeah. Never say where you work. Never or where Never you say are. Where you work for the or ladies. Where... Don't if you if, don't be tagging locations, ladies. God, bless come on, bro. Okay, because my and thing... if you are, if you feel like you just gotta say, "Oh, I was over here," do it after you're not there anymore. After you're, and we talk about these people who say, "I used to work for Fang." They're always done with Fang, yeah. and then they talk about it. Right. Then they talk about working at Facebook. Then they talk about right. working at Amazon. They don't do it when they're there. Exactly. Because me and you are, we're not talking about where we are. No, not at all. But we'll kick Prime all in the face. It, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just something you, know. you get with age. I remember I used to yeah. have my truck all over the internet. Yeah, I've been too. I, then I was I wondering why my lines my were truck and Yeah. Like I've, oh man, especially when I was on a rap and I've had people like, oh God, I was in the middle. When I say the middle of nowhere, I was in the middle of nowhere, South Texas, picking up paint for Tesla. And some guy is screaming across the parking lot, hey, don't you work for such and such? Hey, I saw you on YouTube. I was just like, oh. <laughs> you Ooh. know, it's all bad until it's a hot honey at the millennium. That's too short. Then it's like, yeah, baby, you know who I am. You see it? <laughs> you see it? Yo, let me show you how the mattress work. But no, it's, right. it's one of those things where we just have to be honest here that, you know, it's a, I'll put it this way. I didn't have good credit till I worked at Prime. Didn't have my truck till I worked at Prime. My yeah. pickup truck. Right. Didn't have a, 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 a oppor investment opportunity till I worked at Prime. Yeah. That's the truth. You know, a lot of the people we know, they didn't have a, have a nice car like that before they went to Prime. Listen. Well, you I, did. Never, I barely had a vehicle before I got into trucking. Like, <laughs> right. So it's I was like, doing bad out here. Right. But it's like, oh, they're not yeah. acting the way they they want me to. And I agree because they, they did me dirty. Yeah. But I cannot take it away. If a dude walks up to me, I'm going to tell you where to go, bro. Look, the place that I know to go where I don't even got to know where you live and I can tell you this name. I don't got to know where you live. If you live in Florida, you're screwed. But oh, yeah. other than that, <laughs> Sorry. listen, Florida people, you got to move, bro. I mean, that, that there's only family. one. There's only one company I can name that's halfway decent, and everybody ain't can't get in over there. So, in in Florida, you, yeah, there's a company out of Florida called Indian River. They're very solid, but it's a tanker company, and everybody ain't built for that. But that's the only one I can name not, off the top of my head and be like, that's a good company. If not, you're going to you're going to well established plantations. You're going to oh. Pam. Oh, Trans Am. Oh, God. That was made me throw up. <laughs> oh, Pam, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, Pam? Pam like, oh, that make my stomach hurt, bro. Like, ugh. If you ugh, are a Florida brother, driver, ugh. you got to give up that slave butt. You going to Pam. Yuck. And let me tell you, then you'll think Prime is awesome. Listen, and or, or you'll end up being on the... <laughs> And listen, shout out to them because they have great food. It's it's convenient, but they do their drivers dirty. You're gonna end up being a team slave driver for Publix riding shotgun in a day cab. And I know it because I've seen it firsthand. They'll send them from the from the depot down there in Miami and have them team it all the way up the coast of Georgia and come back down. No sleeper, you just thugging it out of the day cab. Hold on, hold on. Newski Crate is a decent company. Is do they hire out of Florida? I didn't know they did that. You said crate is good because crate. One thing they have is a good yeah. flat system. They don't. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah. If they if if they come out of Florida, I'd be surprised. But yeah, I didn't know they came out of Florida, though. Yeah, I didn't either. I'm not against crate at all. Good flat yeah. system. I think they're 95 percent dropping hook. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but I don't know if they hire out of Florida, but I do know uh, Pam is a cow dung toilet shitter muddy. Tra Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Y'all are mean to Pam. I never went to Pam. I just heard the stories. Yeah, I've been close enough to it. I was just like, yeah, I heard the stories that you're 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 going to the plantation big time. They're in the same category as CRST Covenant. They're in uh, those. Uh, they're in that, what's that field. What's that company? Uh, the one you, you went to CR England. No, not even see, not even seeing our England. What's the other one? You say them all the time, and that's the real plantation. Ah, uh, what's the name of that company? I'm forgetting it. Night transportation. Yeah, night is rough too. That's that's the only two places I went that early. I went night transportation to see our England. Ah, uh, not Abilene. Oh, Abilene. 
Abilene. Yeah, they yeah, take Abilene, felons. Yeah. They take felons. Yeah, Abilene is rough. Rough. Yeah, I, even though they, they stuff is usually uh, Western Express. Yeah. Oh, Eleven says Western. Oh, Express. yeah, Western yeah, Express. That's brutal, brutal man. Brutal rough business. But hey, if you're just coming in the game, you can't get your experience. But when you're talking yeah. about that level of company, Prime is the best thing you're gonna talk about out of all those names yeah. for name. entry. Yeah, for entry level. For, yeah. for your first two years, there's no better place you can be. After that second year is over, you should have moved on. That's a fact. Unless you're going to say, I'm going to stick to training and I'm not going to move out of this position. Yeah, that's the only way. Uh, judging a book by its cover. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it's just it's just one of those things where you just got to know if you know better, if you do, if you knew better, you would do better. And you would know that your first two years you're getting experience after that, you need to be heading towards the house. But once you head towards the house, you will realize I need a, a manual. Right. And that's the one thing the industry lies to you about. Oh, they're phasing out manuals. And they are. Yeah. What like you gotta understand is when you go to smaller companies, they're not they're they're getting trucks secondhand in a weird way. They're they they want yeah. trucks that's easy for them to fix. That's gonna end up putting you or they'll just be old school and have the old school belief that manuals better. Yeah, I mean, because like one, the company I work at, they have both, but majority of the fleet is manual. And the carry I worked at before then when they traded their trucks up because they had, I think they were phasing out their 2016s or 2018s, whatever year it was. And they ordered trucks from, you know, Pete and Kenworth. And they were like, this was the last year because they like didn't plan on buying them, but they're like, we had to, because this was the last year we could buy manuals because this company, they ran all 18 speeds. Mm. So they're, they're not making them anymore. But like you said, you know, some of the more better, more niche companies, they're probably going to have a manual. And the better, more niche, the better, more niche companies, they custom order their trucks. They yeah. can stop making them for mass production and they will stick. Like when I worked for uh, RST, all of them trucks were custom. He yeah. don't care what the industry is doing. He says, I want this and it comes. Right. Out. Or like the the company I worked with when I was still in the oil field, they, they had their own in-shop uh, fleet mechanics. So whenever a motor went or when the mileage got up, they just took the motor out and slapped something in their crazy horsepower. <laughs> right. Right. They just blew it. You know, kept on yeah, going. it was just like, screw it. It's, it passes inspection. We're just going to put cracked out Cummins motors in here. Yeah. It all make 800 horsepower for no if reason. You plan on, <laughs> if, you're, if you're planning on going to the oil field, you need a manual. Yeah, you're going to be running manuals. So that's a very macho area. And the North period. Like, you know, because I like I said, I'm up north now and I've lived in the south all my life. More of the northern companies in general, you need a manual for. Yeah, you're going to need manuals, bro, because they're, they're I know they're very uh, wily is up north. They're yeah. very yeah. old school. They're not trying to hear that automatic bullshit. Matter of fact, yeah. wily shit, you need a manual, bro. Their shit is manual. Oh, yeah. So when I went and, and how do you get your manual? Let's let's not present a problem and not have a sure. solution. You OK. Can, you can just pay a random private school about $500 and they will get you your manual. It's not expensive if you can't figure it out on your own. I'm just saying if you're a person that I want to sit for two weeks and do it right, $500 to a private place, they'll get you your manual. Yeah. It's well, not I say it's, it's subjective too, because it depends on your, your state as far as how you have to go about it. True. But like you said, you can either go to a certified school and get get it done, or if you're fortunate enough to know somebody willing to let you borrow or rent their truck, you can take it to the DMV and they'll take you on a road test to take the uh, restriction off. Because I had a friend do that; he had to get a um, yeah, he had to get rent a truck to get his manual off. Yeah, see, my brother, KT. <laughs> but that's your man's. <laughs> KT did not have to go to the plantation. Yeah. He no. didn't even have to go nowhere. Yeah. He went to our father and used one of my father's trucks and just got his license. Mm -hmm. Ain't that a bitch? Right. He had to go through none of the <laughs> none, none of the molestation. <laughs> listen, listen. No trainer. He didn't have to do thirty thousand oh. training. He, all he did just took the truck up there, passed it, they gave him his license. Lucky dog. Lucky dog. Boy, I tell you. Oh, that guy, man. That guy. <laughs> Your brother, man, KT's a trip, man. He's a trip. And the truth is, KT can drive a manual, 18 speed and all that shit. He can drive all yeah, of it. Yeah. So it's one of them things where if you're not in that position, right? you know, you may have to, because if you go to, if you start now, you're going to have a restriction on your license. If you're going through the plantations, yeah. you are. Oh, for sure. And even with some of the private schools, you you have to ask ahead of time if they offer that, because a lot of them don't now. It's just, you know, straight to yeah. the automatic. 
Yeah, they're going straight to they're trying to push the manuals out because, you know, it, it is what it is. But the truth is, yeah. you think that's all good. So you hit one of these crazy ass mountains. I did that in my last driving video. Ooh. and I think did not want to get up that man was switching gears at the wrong time. Yeah. So yeah. it's I, another thing is weight, too, because automatics, people don't know that automatics are heavier than manuals. Yes, they are. And the thing that, that which is why the carriers, some of the I will say some of the better carriers, the reason they stick to manuals is because <laughs> unlike a manual transmission, say, you know, absolute, which it, you have to really try. But absolute worst case scenario, you pop a gear in a transmission. They can pull the transmission out and put a new gear set in it. Automatics uh, until with the exception of a handful of models, there's no rebuilding that transmission. Yeah, you got to have to go buy off. a new transmission. Right, they're gonna try to take the cab off to get the transmission out. It's all these yeah. trucks are built weird as shit now. Yeah, they're built like they, weird as shit. It's not simple as oh, just lift it up and slot it out. Like, no, yeah. it's not like that I've simple. seen one guy and shout out to the Migos because they be figuring stuff out. Guy down south in Texas, he's the only person I've seen that actually figured out how to rebuild them automatic transmissions. Otherwise, everybody else, everybody I've talked to, dealerships, otherwise, they're like, No, you just gotta no. buy a new unit, they're no. not meant to be rebuilt. Nope, they slide the unit out, then they send it somewhere and get it rebuilt and sell it right. as refurbished. Exactly. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's exactly that's what how they do you. <laughs> that's how they do you. <laughs> no, next article. We kind of went on a tangent on yeah. this. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So we'll circle back to the to the marijuana thing, but uh something a little more tragic, uh, which is going back to driver safety. But they found authorities found the body of an Iowa trucker that's been missing since last year, the end of 2023. Uh, they found the body of a 50, 53-year-old truck driver who, who was reported uh, missing last November, Mr. David Schultz. His wife, Sarah, uh, made this announcement on April 24th via Facebook. Uh, off officials with the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation, they found his body in a farm field around 2 o'clock April 24th near an intersection where his truck was located the day it disappeared. Mm. Uh, so he was identified by his boots. Damn. Um, the remains were transported to the examiner for an autopsy. They haven't released any details as to his cause of death as of yet. And they said uh, his wife stated, she said, I had a feeling he would be found when the farmers were getting getting their fields ready, but I just didn't know when, and it was yesterday. Yeah. So he's so he, I was you know it's northern state winter weather, so he was basically not trying to be funny. But he was on ice all winter, which is why they didn't didn't find him until now that you know spring season's coming in. So the snow had to leave for his body to be discovered. Yeah. Was he at least preserved well, or they're not speaking on that? There, I'm, I'm assuming by the fact that they had to identify him by his boots. He probably wasn't in, especially for sitting out there in the field that long. I'm sure he was decomposed by now. Are we discussing foul play here or are he just heart attacked out? Well, according to the story, he was, uh, he was, he was hauling some pigs on the 21st, which is the day before he disappeared uh, to, he was supposed to deliver to Sac City, Iowa, which is a, you know, small farm town. It says outside of Des Moines, but nobody was able to get him on the phone. And then they found his truck. Um, he was 10 miles away from delivering out in Sac City. So it said his truck wasn't running when he was found in the middle of the, it was truck was found in the middle of the road facing the northbound direction. And they also say that even though he should have been, you know, going the opposite direction, but they're still investigating the causes of yet. I'm sure more details will come out as they, you know, finish up the autopsy, but I, it's hard to say. I mean, f for the fact that he was in a field, I don't know, maybe he had a, I mean, you don't want to think the worst. I'm like, maybe he had a health emergency and he wandered out there, but that doesn't explain why his truck was faced the wrong way. I mean, I hope nobody picked him off for no reason. It sounds like he was a pretty stand-up guy. But Listen, y'all, yeah, this, this game, when you are traveling, you have to move like somebody's trying to get you. You have to lock your doors. You have to stay on point where you're supposed to be. You have, when you, another, uh, here's a big one that I tell people all the time. Don't hang out in the truck stop man truck stops are horrendously notorious for nefarious characters yeah they're not safe bro no don't hang out in the truck stop when you're in a truck stop you move like you got somewhere to be yeah and this is regardless of if you're in the middle of kalamazoo or if you're in you it know matter. in texas somewhere or in, in new york or wherever you're at like it's not it's not safe bro 
it's not safe. And I know we think, oh, I'm going to park next to truckers and I'll feel you may feel a little bit safer. And there's a little bit more eyes. And the truth yeah. is, it's getting safer because now people are realizing every truck is a camera. Every truck is going to soon it's going to be federal for every truck to have a camera pointing forward. Yeah. So you have you have 300 cameras at a truck stop and stuff like that. But that information not may have got to the regular public. It's still a lot of crap going on there. They ain't got no business. There's traffickers. You got people looking to rob you. I mean, we just yeah. we just looked at Philly. They're popping trucks left and right. Like it's yeah, not... and beating up the drivers. Yeah, y'all got to be careful out here. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I feel like rest areas feel worse because there's less people looking. If a rest area feels like a scary, it's just they're just sketchy. Like, you know, like from the restroom setup to just the parking lot, a lot of places, the lack of lighting, you know, or even if, if some of them, they're just literally a, a patch of patch of pavement on the side of the yeah. highway and in the woods, looks, you know, it just looks like it should be in a scary movie. Right. Where you, and that's why, you know, some places I park, I never open my door. Listen, I see that door and stay right inside, especially like for you, you trucking couples. You know, not just the team drivers. I'm talking about you got your old lady in the sleeper type situation. Y'all need to move as a unit, bro. Don't let her go to the to the bathroom and run off in the store by herself to get yeah. something. Like, no. The truth is, if y'all are a, a team or him, or, you know, wh whichever your preference, go on Amazon and pick up a toilet. Yeah, I don't care what you say. You poop. You sh you piss in the bottle. You shit in that toilet with the bag. You tie it up. Throw it in the fucking trash. Yeah. It's, there's no reason me and my old lady uh had our stuff set up to uh take showers and shit in the truck there's ways to do it bro oh, hey, yeah. if you go on the campsites they have these five gallon water jugs that you 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 pump with pressure and it acts as a shower there's yeah, stuff like, I, like that i remember it it i had gotten to a point because i man for more reasons than one i just don't like going to truck stops anymore but I got to the point where I would run my, I set my shift up to where I would run. And during the time where I would be setting up to take my 30, I would take a little extra time and just go shower for the day. That right. way when it's actually time to park and shut down, I don't have to go outside. Right. Right. You can do it during the daytime. Yeah. But like I say that you can get, you can get, uh, you can get a bucket yeah. and you can dip your, uh, dip your, uh, you can get these washing sponges that have soap in them already. Yeah. You dip your, uh, washing sponge in there wash yourself you drain off into the to the bucket yeah the, here's another thing y'all can do too you can delete that second seat yeah oh man you giving up the drip i'm giving too much giving drip. up the drip i'm giving up drip. Listen, I'm the cash app yet i'm still listen, giving the drip people don't realize how much space you that gain with that seat delete bro oh my god man oh my god it's like god. a totally new truck Man, I mean, it, that's that takes it from condo to apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a plus one. If, oh, you, man. if you delete that freaking seat, bro, that rubber floor, you can wash oh. up right in that little corner. Listen, and uh, poop in that corner. Put your nice little mat down if you need to. Storage over there. Oh my god, the extra storage space. Listen, and if and for those who are really thugging it out here, you put your refrigerator right there. Oh my god, get you a quarter size refrigerator. Mm -hmm. They sell oh. them at freaking Walmart for seventy. And let it double as a table. Oh, winning, yeah. Yeah. winning. Yeah. Then when the biddies come over, they're like, "Oh, this is nice." Oh my god, I'm never going home. Yeah, <laughs> I got everything I need right here. Everything and if, you and need for right my tech here. people. You can set your TV right there. You can get the big forty that I know y'all want. Like, oh my god, the what does FTW you mean? I'm sorry, what? He says camping toilet FTW before the win before the win. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. For the win. Oh, that's ain't no that man. Yeah, the camping toilet and it's they got them collapsible. Yeah, I got two of them yeah, just in case right. I lose one. You hit the button, that shit opens up. You can sit on it. I also double it and sit on it when I'm playing the game when I don't feel like laying down and stepping. Exactly. Yeah, that those things are they're like thirty bucks, bro. They don't oh, cost yeah. no money. Yeah, you can get one of those and be good. Oh yeah, it's, especially that goes for women because. When you don't need to be leaving the truck hardly ever. No, not at all. If you're hardly not getting fuel ever. or making an absolute purchase, right. stay out of trust out room. And right. the reason why it's like because of fuel, because fuel, you are yeah. if there's 10, there's there's cameras pointing at those pumps. Oh yeah, gotta be. And everybody knows it. Once you're done with that, you do all your stuff in the front, you drive your truck, you park it, you close the door, you take your freaking um your seat belt, you put oh, it right through the, handle. the handle, yeah. The handle of the door, you lock that thing in. That means even if they jimmy the lock or break the window, that door ain't opening. 
Yeah. That gives you enough time to react and do what you need to do. Another thing y'all need to carry is mace and tasers. Oh, man, yeah. Because people can think they gangsta all they want to. They may get past the mm -hmm. taser. But if you go to the gun, don't go nowhere but the gun shop. Go to the gun get shop. Bear mace. Get, get that pepper spray. Ooh. You can be gangsta all you want to. That shit going to take yeah. you out. Yeah, it's going to put it on you. And you hit him with like, that. That, 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 reminds, that reminds me <laughs> of this video I saw the other day. <laughs> this guy, which I it didn't the, the scenario didn't make sense in its entirety. So basically there was this guy walking around, I guess, in the hood in LA, walking around with a camera vlogging himself. Mm -hmm. And uh a gangbanger, I don't know what his affiliation was. He had on red, so take that what you will. Anyway, he uh walks up on him, he's pressing the guy, he's like, Oh, give me, why are you recording me? Give me your phone. He hops out of the car, walks up on the dude, and that dude tagged him with some mace. Oh my god. Man. 180. Mace. Oh my eyes bleeding. He I'm talking about this dude was on the curb crying. Yeah. <laughs> crying. Yeah. Oh my eyes. Oh, la, la, la. Yeah, and the dude no was so joke. compassionate. Dude was a saint. He was like, I'll help you. He was like, We'll, we'll get you some get you some help out here. And they called an ambulance and all that. I remember that. That was the one where he was filming something. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. he was doing that uh rights filming shit where they yeah 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 and the mm -hmm. dude pulled up in a nice car too oh yeah it was like a and Lexus he walked or up yeah and he hit him with that oh my god <laughs> you know it's not a joke bro like, that stuff will shut you down yeah. even if you want to keep doing something you can't see no not at all yeah so even if you want to keep doing something you 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 can't see bro you're out of here man and and it depends on what level of taser you got oh, yeah, yeah. there's some tasers that will drop a motherfucking yeah, that, that, yeah that water that water's gonna get on you yeah you get the one that looks like a gun that shoots the pins out it's oh, over, bro. it's over you gotta be certified for those too mm, get certified I'm, yeah, I'm i'm certified to uh you. carry uh i'm certified to carry conceal in, in 47 states there you go Yo, go get them. Every gun store, they got classes right there, bro. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can go in there and get tactically certified. You get on there, they just giving them out. $100. Yeah, class, $6 figure, out, figure out for the folks that, that do want to go that route and go ahead and get your get your CC and everything. Figure out what states your CC crosses generation with. And yeah. for the ones that it doesn't, go get it for that state, too. Yeah, if y'all are in Texas, jo uh, Georgia, those are good states to get them in. Yeah, uh, Las Vegas crossover with a lot of states. Yeah. Arizona is a good place to get it. Yeah, because most of the states they 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 all see those. The people that are in Maryland and weird places like Maryland, Chicago, I don't know what to tell y'all. Stay about. away from New York. Stay away from California. New York, California. <laughs> it, them Boy, states, you, you, I, I don't know what to tell you. You're screwed. You better buy a lawyer. You don't. Live, <laughs> the truth is, you don't live in America. Exactly. Those states <laughs> are not American. You are in a communist country. Oh my God. Let me tell you, because yeah. I'm I'm certified, but my certification means yeah. nothing in those states. Exactly. I would have to go there and go through this long ass thing and get it done. And it's like, yeah, yeah all that for them to basically say you can't take you can't do nothing with this. <laughs> like just think yo, about yo. it. Mace yeah. stops bears. Yeah. And, and bear is nothing a very stops terrifying bears. animal. You understand yeah. that may stops grizzly bears. Listen, it's two animals you don't want running up on you. A bear and a moose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a moose will fuck you up. Oh my god, them things are terrifying. You ever seen what a moose does need, to a truck? You don't need a CCW Ugh. in Texas and Louisiana anymore. That's true. Well, yes, ski. if you're in state, yeah, you that's can, true. You can new ski, but carry, but yeah, that's true. But we're talking about truckers. Truckers are in every state, right? So you do need it to be leaving that state. You're gonna leave, unless you're a regional guy that don't leave yeah. Texas. Because I mean, yeah, there's plenty of people that don't leave the state, and you know they're trucking, right? <laughs> so yeah. But if you're going to jump in a truck, you can leave a yeah. state. You think, well, I'm going to bring my gun. You better have that CW with you. And, and, and another thing you're supposed to have, too, is that uh, I forget what they call it. Is it double it? That gun um, insurance. Forget oh, the name of yes. that shit. Um, is it the double AC something? I know what you're talking about. It's the hold on. Let's look it up real quick. This insurance provides you with $2 million in uh, legal defense if you pop somebody. You got to keep that on you because you can be in a right and they can still, you can not get a criminal charge and they can sue you. Yeah. So you need to have that in the tuck. It is called uh, the, the self defense insurance, is what they call yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an insurance that they carry. They, they or like a legal shield. There we go. Legal there it shield. is. Yes. Yeah. Couldn't think of the name of it. Yeah. Legal shield. Yeah, so you need to have that because the truth is, here's the truth. You shouldn't be, you're not supposed to carry a firearm as a trucker. Right. You're not supposed to. I'm telling Although you, it's you not against the law. It's not against the law. Prohibited. 
most companies prohibit it and most of the place you're dropping it, you're prohibiting it. And some of the place you're dropping it, it is federally illegal for you to have a gun there. Right. So especially it, hazmat people. Hazmat. Listen to the places uh, you go. Anything you know, fat old sign that says, hey, no firearms. Any, or you'll go to a place where they actually inspect your truck before you go in. Yeah, and anything that's with a Twit card, you cannot have a oh, weapon. Cool. You better All not. that port shit and oh, going to government oh. facilities, you cannot yeah. have a weapon. Screw your rights, bro. Yeah. So Mind you, you, know you better, rules. I'm talking about if you're going to some of these places, you better store it before you even get there because even if you get there and tell them they ain't have none of that, you're getting kicked off the property. That's it. And they might, they, they might lock you up. <laughs> the yeah. truth. They might lock you up, bro. You're not, you, so you got to know what you're like. I was with this one place and they, they, uh, when it's time to get you home, they would send you on the prison route and you'll drop off in the prison. He said, USCCA offers it. I think that's the one I'm talking about, Tim Greg, the yeah. USCCA. That's yeah. the one when you go get your CW, they present that to you. Get this. Right. So, um, uh, uh, what's the other thing, too? And sign up for the NRA. Uh, what's that one? NRA? Which one is it called? Yeah, the NRA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sign up for that shit, man. They keep you noticed on laws and all that type of stuff. Right. And look, as crazy as the world getting out here, I don't see how nobody's walking around with a, a CW. I just don't see how you're not. I don't yeah, see how I'm you're actually. Not. I'm getting. I haven't had mine, but I'm getting mine when I go home. So yeah, I, I definitely got mine. Know it. I'm strapped like a blackjack. So I know a lot of people be talking crazy online. They gonna get their whole foot shot off fucking with me. Hey, listen, and I'm just gonna give them my insurance and wait for the case. Put that back bike on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I like staying in Texas. I can shoot you, yeah. and they'll just drag you away. Oh yeah. Well, you did what you were supposed to do. Well, <laughs> you should have been talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Florida's the same way. That dude yeah. get that sheriff gets on there and tells people, shoot the people, shoot them. Don't let them come in your house and do whatever they want to do. And the tr- here, here's the thing: the truck is your house, and they're robbing and all this other stuff. My thing is, you can take the cargo because that shit is insured. Yeah, you can have that. But when you start messing with the cab, you messing with me. And I got to give you that goddamn, I got to give you that, you know, I got to give you that. out in touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got yeah. to watch that shit, man. That's a yeah, fact. Man. Y'all, Another thing y'all need to worry about big time is, um, and I hate to say this because now it's becoming prevalent. Y'all need to stay away from that prostitution because a lot of them prostitutions are, are, are trafficked adolescents. What I mean by that is you could be hitting an underage girl. And when or- you hit. When you hit one of those underage girls, that's rape, bro. Yeah, they're gonna even, set you up for child rape. And even more prevalent now, a lot of them they're not even they're not even selling. They're just looking to rob you, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't get it twisted. They're not uh, everybody out here ain't friendly. Like they just yeah. they, they're looking to rob you. <laughs> Why would I take the two hundred dollars to get my cheeks beat when I can take your whole thousand without giving up cheeks at all? Exactly. And a lot of them they're doing using drugs to to rob you. Oh, so yeah. you, you don't you don't want to you don't want to and they are not mixing the drugs correctly so the people that are drugging are dying so if you have a problem with cheeks and you're on this road i hope you stay away from the uh lot lizards and all that type of stuff because when they take instagram you, dm me for in call out call yeah. meetups yeah, yeah. None of that. bookings all that coming, <laughs> don't go to none of these chicks houses yeah. bro yeah, I'm telling you, you need to look it up. It's an epidemic of cats getting robbed doing that. It's bad. It's, it's real bad. Do not do that shit, bro. You, you need to feel. I call it, I don't mess with no free range vagina. <laughs> Say I that. Say that. I don't. Oh, man. It's got to be sanctioned and cleared. <laughs> the vagina I'm hitting has been sanctioned and reviewed from my, my parents, know who she yeah. is. My aunties in different states. All my brother knows her face and full name. I don't hit no unsanctioned butt. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pass the bar. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not out here just in the grass fields eating grass fed yeah. beef. It's not happening, bro. <laughs> that free range chicken. I don't. Do I need that USDA stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I need a pasteurized. <laughs> Some of y'all niggas just going out, just hitting oh. wild cookies, bro. Just, 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 just wild butt. <laughs> Yo, wild butt is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I oh. think I, my old late, I've only hit two females that don't come from the state of Virginia. Uh. They all came from the plantation in Virginia. Uh. I Only two of them that I've hit that are not born and raised in Virginia. Listen, everybody got their favorite brand of chicken. Hey, that's a fact. <laughs> Listen, yeah. if you a Popeye's cat, yeah. you gonna always eat Popeye's. Yeah. I've been, I, I've been to the farm down in Texas, and they almost got me. They almost got listen, me. Listen, 
this because man, it is an abundance in Texas. Oh, but you gotta watch them; they wild down there. Listen, the, the STDs is going around down there. Is it? Is it? Has it spiked down there? Oh my God! Yeah, hold on. Let me get the statistics. George, tell me the HIV capital right now. Okay, let me find out. Uh, I've been risking my life. <laughs> Let's see. Largest HIV population in the U.S. It says the South in general. <laughs> it doesn't give you a state. Uh, let me see. It was it was New Orleans for a while. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. So, um, okay. Oh, good God. So as of right now, fifty eight percent. Greg says Baltimore. It's fifty eight percent Atlanta, thirty three percent L.A., forty five percent New Orleans, fifty two percent New York City, and fifty one percent Philly. So it's Atlanta right now. Atlanta's the episode. Yeah, Atlanta's number one. Jeez. Atlanta's number one, bro. That's right. Damn. I actually, no. Well, let me see. Is this is this accurate? When, how old is this? Oh, no. This is from 2020. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta's number one. So what's... To, uh, this is 2024, you're telling me. Yeah, though. 2024, Atlanta's number one. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, it's bad out here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rio Dancer 407 says it gotta be ATL. My gosh, bro. HIV from the sharing of needles, not sex. Can, can yeah, I think that's what Baltimore is usually is. Baltimore yeah. is that it was the has been for years the heroin. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of it is is you know because of drug use. That's like God. for example, uh, oof, Texas has one of the highest concentrations of syphilis. <laughs> really? Yeah. Jeez. Actually, the worst do 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 do. Let me see. What is the worst STD rate in Texas according to testing? Um, let's see. I guess this article's broken. Okay, let me find it. Let me. That's find crazy, it. man. Y'all got okay. Hi- Harris up. County ranked the highest in the state, which is Houston. So, give me some numbers, people. Oh, they want to make they want to make it difficult, but yeah, it's bad out here. It's yeah, really bad. I'm just telling you, man. Y'all gotta watch it out here, bro. Like it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no joke. Uh, y'all hear about the vampire facial, the spall spreads HIV. Wow, about the vampire facials that spa spread HIV, oh. like tattooing blood or something. That is, cr- see, oh. I, I don't. I'm not a. Let me tell you something. I got my mother passed away years ago, down the county, and I got her name tatted on my chest. That is once I went through that, I said I'll never get another tattoo. Listen, it is not an enjoyable thing to get done, it's, and I know now it's in style to where you take it off and the dudes have tattoos all over their body and all that. I'm, I just don't come from that era where it was like we used to get like little weird ones done in the hood that didn't look that good, and that was yeah. about it. But y'all are getting full body joints, and it's like uh, I'm not. Into I mean, it. right? Like if it, mind you, I. I'm a little ignorant, so I, I do like some of it on women. I'm not getting any tattoos myself. I don't have any. But, you know, I ain't going to knock you for getting it. I ain't judging nobody. But yeah. as far as me, myself, I'm I'm cool. My thing is, if I was to get it, it would be like the, it would be the Taj Mahal tattoo place. It would be yeah, like shit. And there's, mind you, like I said, I, I like the art of it for some of the stuff. But for me, there's there's just nothing important enough to feel like I got to put it on my body. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about. It. I got my mama name. Right. I mean, that's about it. That's, <laughs> that's about the you know woman. That's you know, mother, be. mother dear. That's it. You know, mama like, and granny. Those are the only right two at the solidified spot. Everybody else, I'm not putting yeah. my name on me. I'm not signing a yeah. record deal and putting real get it records on. I'm not doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, no crazy art cartoons, none of that. Yeah, for some reason, Mark still doing them. drugs like, for some reason. Like, yeah, like. No. And then y'all doing a lot of pseudo demon worshipy shit. I'm not into that. Dog. Yeah, like I see, younger. I see women with with naked ladies on them in some places, or you know, like I said, it'd be some crazy anime or something. I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay. no, and a lot of that stuff is like anime is named Demon Catcher or some shit. Yeah. I'm not into that, bro. I come yeah. from old evangelical niggas, man. They right. didn't like, they were very, uh, the word is superstitious. I come from superstitious people. They don't believe in playing with Ouija boards. Oh, none, yeah, of none, none, none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. that. No, I'm telling you, the gin would not do well with me because I think he's the devil immediately. Yeah. 
no, I don't want you wishing me something. Mm-hmm. All that is you, Yeah, you stone rock people like yeah, crystals. Cri- yeah the crystal <laughs> girls and yeah. Uh, what's uh, other uh, you know how y'all chicks are in astrology? That oh. was devil worship back in the day. We didn't nigga. What's your sign? Oh, oh, my <laughs> oh, oh stop, stop, stop. Phil, you gotta do that voice again. What did she say? <laughs> do the voice again. Do the What's voice. Sign? Like, that's horrible, man. Why does your hate. face go like that when you do? Why is it that's what they do. <laughs> All of them do that. It is the most. Oh, you're a Capricorn. Or oh, what's another one? Oh, you're a Gemini. You're toxic. Like, you're oh, a bad guy. Oh, God. You're such oh, a oh, they hate me. Oh, they, they hate me. Why? Because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> Yeah, people don't like Virgos. Yeah, they man. hate me. Yeah, like, if it's not Beyonce, I don't like Virgos. Like, it's the weirdest shit in the world, bro. That was never... Yeah. We were not allowed... My grandma played none of that. Because yeah, she had a famous that. saying that has kept me out of trouble for years. That's why I didn't go into no masonry, neither. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, but she would say, if it ain't Jesus, it's the devil. <laughs> that's and a fact say, though that's there is, a fact. <laughs> when a when a woman like her tells you that there's no room for discussion after that that's right, it exactly but like grandma it's not devil no, no no you're not getting it if it ain't jesus it's the devil period mm-hmm. she oh, don't give God. a shit about stones and rubbing them like, none of that yeah my granny used to say show me that in the bible <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> show me that scripture where is that in the scripture yeah, and then got the bible see you knew your old person was into the bible because they bibles had notes oh man they highlight were... under oh, oh footnotes and boy she i mean right to it i mean Damn. just muscle memory just yes oh, so like, it was just right there. Day. and she go right to the book she didn't oh, they man. actually studied the book oh yeah so what my thing pro- thought process on it was my grandma would never give me nothing to hurt me. My grandma wouldn't even let me play with toys that had skulls on them. Oh, yeah. None of that was happening. If it even looks sketchy, like, yeah. oh, my God, the freaking Chucky. Oh, we wouldn't win. None oh, of that. My, going on. Even my, the my, Raggedy Ann, though, it was sketchy. You're just like, uh-uh. I don't my know about stepfather would buy us toys from Toys R Us. Mm-hmm. And I, my grandma would come home and she'll see them and throw them away. It's like yeah. uh, my mom told me a story then this is this is probably a little bit before your time even uh she said they had a teddy rubskins or ruskins or something like that it was some i guess some talking bear or something like that and then they found out it was some type of demon association and he was like yeah but none of that they threw that away yeah we don't know no none of that none of that extra demon shit they don't she didn't like the video game yeah because now it's like now kids are even calling themselves demons like you could not yeah, no. in my grandma's house and call yourself a demon Ain't absolutely no not yeah they saying it all in the songs and stuff yeah she even heard the word demon she would lose it bro oh my god you couldn't even listen <laughs> you come from i mean i know you do but you come from the era of when you when you couldn't even say dang around your grandparents no. that was too close to cussing yeah dang you couldn't say you couldn't use god see you couldn't can't say use, shoot none of that <laughs> uh, you couldn't do, use god's name in vain you can be like oh, jesus man. that's right respect. or oh my god Mm-hmm. Like, that's no, using Jesus name in the mouth from that. But now y'all is so loosey goosey. You can call yourself a demon and all this mm-hmm. type of shit, and still make it home. Like, bro, ain't no way. My grandma, you'd have went to sleep. She'd have prayed over a bucket of water on your ass, and you'd have thought everything was cool. You would have knocked out on your drug binge. Her and some of her church friends would have been in a circle around you. Oh yeah. They'd have hit you with that old lady scrimp and tackled you. Drew that water on you. They'd have start speaking in tongues. Oh, uh-huh. Cause they speak in tongues down south. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shut about a Honda, like uh, and yeah. you just sat there and took it because there was nothing yeah. not you could do. Not, yeah. <laughs> it's just, this is happening. Oh, yeah. people, people don't know. I have a yeah. I have a lot of brothers. One of my brothers is gay. And, oh really? Oh yeah. One of my brothers is gay. And when he goes around them, they try to pray the gay off them. They don't give a shit about that PC bullshit. Wow. They let him know that that is a demon inside of you. You got to pray the demon out. <laughs> yeah, it don't work, though. It don't work. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to I'm 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 keep my, my opinion on that clean and just say, you know, live your life, you know. Listen, my, my thing is this. I, I, I am a hetero male, you know. I still like women in vagina, but other than that, you know, do what you do. <laughs> my, my, thing, my thing is this. 
you life is too short. Yeah. Do what you're gonna do. But some some mm-hmm. and not about this specifically. I'm talking about mm-hmm. in life. Shame is good is, is a good thing. Oh bring back shame. There's no shame now. Oh, do you know how many issues we could avoid if these fools had shame? Some out people here? had some shame. Some good old Catholic shame. Where's the cooth? I mean, just there is oh, no shame, bro. Brother, please. That everybody, every whenever you attack somebody or you discuss something somebody's doing, yeah. they first thing they let you know is I have no shame. You're not gonna make me feel shameful about this. And some stuff you should have shame for. Not saying that. I'm saying it, this is even for heterosexual activity. Oh, absolutely. You should have shame if you cheat on your wife. You yeah, should feel in, shame, bro. In, in multiple states that you don't see, but a handful of times throughout the year. Yeah, you should have shame for that. Accountability. Exactly, Greg. Yeah. You should have shame if you're if you have a couple of bitties you're talking to and you you're married. You should feel oh. shameful for that because it's a shameful act. Yeah. You you should have shame if you're belligerent. You should have shame if you spaz out on somebody and 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 later on you calm down and you feel that feeling you feel that feeling is shame because you know the person didn't deserve that. You should have shame. Shame and, and you say no, all men cheat. Stop it. No, 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 no. All men do not cheat. No. That's not a no all humans don't all do one thing. Right. Just because the men that you've been around do not have any willpower don't mean that is the state of all men. They don't mean that shit, bro. And even more to the point, the internet is not a representation of all men. Our women. Like people, uh, yeah, exactly. Like, people don't realize, yes, the internet is worldwide, but the internet is small, bro. It's small, bro. It's not. It's it. so many people that do not live on the internet, don't have no type of president, presence on the internet. Like, one of my, one of my ex-girlfriends, one of the greatest people I've ever met, she has no social media, bro none right. she she had it when she was a teenager she said i'm done with it she none of that she went none of that she's living life it says uh men, uh newski says men can have multiple lives it's in the bible okay tell me what scripture <sighs> says that yeah i'll wait because the problem with y'all is y'all regurgitate shit and you don't know what you're talking about exactly tell me what scripture says that simply tell me exactly which one and then tell me what context is it in if That's not, you just heard that from a podcast and you're regurgitating and saying it's in the Bible. There's a lot of shit in the Bible. There's also stuff in the Bible that says you can beat your wife. There's also shit in the Bible that says your wife can't sleep in the house if she uh, if she is menstruating. Right. There's a lot of crap in the Bible. There's a lot of stuff in the Bible that say you shouldn't wear blue uh, uh, mixed linens. Y'all do. Y'all don't know what the linen is. It's coming from China. And if <laughs> there was a time where <laughs> if if you coveted another man's wife, you were stoned to death for that. You dudes can't go 65 years having sex with one woman. Y'all just be talking. The Bible's in a bunch of books. See, Newski, that tells me you're young and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You heard it somewhere. And since that narrative fits the fact that you like having sex with multiple women, that's the one you're running for. That doesn't make you look smart. Yeah. Now, if you are a single man and you're having sex with multiple women, yeah. But if you are in a committed relationship and you're cheating, that means you have no integrity. You could have just stayed single. Right. And just because you're single does not mean you're obligated to just be hoeing yourself out. That's true. But the truth is, you text socially wise, you're allowed to have sex with whoever you want to when you're single. Sure. So my thing is, why don't you just stay single? Right. Why are you in a relationship at all? Just hump whoever you want. And everybody's it happy. With it. Yeah. And, and whatever <laughs> comes with it. The problem is, is that you'll get a chick. You like her and you want to lock her down while you keep doing what you're doing. That is just wrong, bro. Just yeah. tell her, listen, man, I, I don't want to be in a relationship right now and deal with the fact that other penises are in the chick you like. Yeah, trophy, co- trophy collecting is not okay. It's not, yeah, oh, 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 all these chicks can't date nobody, but you're dating everybody else. It's just wrong, bro. And you're not, you're not going to be able to new world explain it away. It's not going to work that way. Yeah. Just stay single, bro. Your life is a lot more peaceful when you stay with one woman. That's true. That's true. That's true. I, let me tell you something. I love the fact I can leave my phones around. Oh, yeah. No, men by nature is polygamous. You don't get 8 billion people on earth with monogamy. I'm not worried about 8 billion people. I'm worried about me. Exactly. That's what I mean by y'all have stupid arguments. What the hell does 8 billion people have to do with you? Yeah. And I have nothing to do with you. You're, you're one not, person. You're not a percentage in the equation. As you're one you're person, not. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's just stupid. They want to benefits of a relationship with the freedom of being. Exactly. Dude, just be single. 
Right. That's the truth. Most of the time, women are not mad that you're cheating. They're mad you took their choice away. That's what they're angry about. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> <laughs> you took your choice away. You're over here oh. saying, I love you, I love you, baby, I love you, baby. And yeah. then you're on my live talking like this, but you don't talk like this in front of your woman. If you have one. Because a lot of these opinions will be keeping you all away from women in the first place. Right, because when you get around chicks you like, you lying. You lying like a motherfucker. Oh, no, baby, just about you, baby. I love you, baby. Yeah, and then you get on here and be like, men are me, men deserve rats and fuck women and I hate women. But then you eating out somebody draws. <laughs> Stop it. Stop you it. Hang, your, I hang your from the ceiling fan. Right. <laughs> out here, crazy. Out here rubbing feet and kissing toes and shit. Oh, my. God. And acting like you're such a, uh, I'm a sigma man. Let me tell you something. No man sigma that says, man. no man that says I'm a sigma <laughs> or an alpha is a sigma <laughs> or an alpha. That's a fact. <laughs> and even more to the point, if you're living by that narrative, you're not getting butt. Women don't like that. I don't know what convinced you idiots to think that that this alpha red pill bullshit is okay. Right. Women don't like real women don't like that shit, bro. Right. Right. And if now, they do, they're probably going to leave you anyway. <laughs> okay, this one, look, pay attention because this is a case study. I don't know if you have the live up, Phil. Yeah, I'm looking uh, at uh, it. Uh, most men who watch porn and get prostitutes are married. Y'all married dudes are soft. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's insanity. That's so funny. But almost most of the property you see bought around, Listen, most of the would... dudes who are high up in business they're all married. Are they cheating? Mind I don't know that. Right. I don't mind know you, that. Mind you, I'm not married, but I'm I'm very curious to know the caliber of women you you date, Newski. So and they're all these bold claims. They don't make these claims to the women they date. Right. That's the truth. You're not making these claims, and you're not getting no pussy on the first date talking this stupid shit. They, he's lying. Right. He'll say this. He could feel this way, but he ain't getting putting this over to the chicks he hidden. Of course not. If he's Get not paying here. for it. What are you talking you know, about? More more times than not, you're probably you're probably buying butt. I mean, and, if letting, her, just... and letting her record it to put it on OnlyFans. Oh no! Oh, That's I know something... the game. Oh, I know the Is game. That something that happened to you, Phil? No, not me. Are no. you out here on OnlyFans getting abused? Oh by no, you will never see me on on Beyonce's internet. So your no. face is not on there, is what you're saying. <laughs> face, body, none of that. Because I've nah, seen that's... the videos where, where the chick is about to blow somebody and she moves the dude into the camera and his face is not seen. <laughs> like, yeah. So listen, listen, if if footage exists, it will never touch the internet. <laughs> that's that means great. it does. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Look at this, look Listen, at this. I cannot confirm or deny these allegations. However, we you will never to, see it on the to read the live. <laughs> You crazy. I get more <laughs> women than both of you. That would be true because I'm a woman. I mean, man. right. And I'm not trying. So, and my, mind you, it's not a competition. Like, you, this is what's the problem with you idiots. Y'all think niggas are trying to compare out here. Like, compare, compete. That's, it's homosexual activity to be trying to compete okay. to say, oh, I conquest more women than another man. Like, who gives a flying right. fuck? Like, it's disgusting behavior. Like, okay, cool. You, you clap a lot of butt. Good, good job. I hope you're rich to pay for all of that. Like, nobody cares. You're lame for that. That's lame activity. It's like the same stuff when you see these idiots going to the club, throwing money at each other. At the end of the day, you're all going home. You all spent too much money. And at, and if you're really stupid, which a lot of you are, you're probably broke anyway, over leveraging your lifestyle. Uh oh, damn. Now I got to talk about it. He made me mad. Nah, this is some bullshit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm calling it out. You rappers, you, you fake drug dealers, you fake lifestyle sellers, you lifestyle renters. Stop it. Nobody cares, bro. At the end of the day, it's not helping you, especially, especially if you're not in the social media space actually profiting off what you're doing. And even then, the ones that even do that, more of most of y'all are not making enough money to offset that cost anyway. That's why you see these streamers going broke every five minutes. Uh-oh. I'm sick of these niggas, bro. <laughs> Phil, he said you married dudes are cheating, but online talking. Men I'm not married, you asshole. <laughs> and even more to the point, I'm not dating anybody. I'm focused on my life, the things I love to do. That's why I'm talking on this platform and I'm doing other things behind the scenes that you wouldn't know about or understand because you're lame. You too busy typing, talking bullshit that you do not believe in yourself. You're just being contradictory just to make a point. God. Mm, 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 mm. You niggas pissed me off. I swear to God, I wish I could backhand one of you motherfuckers. Mm. 
Smack him. I say God smack damn him. it. Let's go. Let's 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 one second. One second. One second. I don't want to interrupt you live. Go ahead. Go ahead and do your speak your shit because you me getting out of pocket over here, man. This is this is my problem with y'all. This is my problem. My biggest problem with y'all is that you have you the think belief. I'm gay. You are fucking pathetic with your insults. You think I'm gay? I was married. I've had several women in my lifestyle, but I don't have to prove that to you. Internet pieces of shit. You, mm. me proving my my masculinity does nothing for me it puts no bread in my pocket and nobody gives a fuck about any of y'all you're just a you're just a face with no name you don't even have a profile get the fuck out of my face with this yeah shit. he does that's his profile right there that's newski you're sitting on a oh my fucking god you're sitting on an ultima newski newski is getting money nigga he's not playing with y'all congratulations go to work be an adult nobody gives a fuck Newski gets in money. Look at this. News, you can't afford these shoes, Phil. Look at them shoes. That those are thousand dollar shoes. Congratulations. You know how to spend money. You're a consumer. You're the people that you're the whole point of why businesses exist. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Newski get money. Free water. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know I don't either, know and I don't give a fuck. Newski get money out here. And oh, that's the SR Nissan. <laughs> oh, oh, congratulations. You get 30 more horsepower. He Ooh. got the SRD. Man, that thing will spank you SI. It'll Ooh. spank it. Oh, you got a three liter. Congratulations. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> you really getting money, you'd have a Corvette. Oh, Just saying. Geez. You'd be driving a C8 like the rest of these flashy ass niggas. So my thing is with the flashy dudes. I mean, I can't I can't hate on the man. He's getting money. He's living his life. He's young. What is he, 21, 22? That's great. I wanted to be accomplished. I wish you all the success in the world. But when you say stupid shit like this, that oh my god. He says you spent money on hotels. He spent money on shoes. He calling you out, Phil. I, I, I like to travel. <laughs> cool. <laughs> like what? Does that, what does that mean? The point is still invalid. Yeah. We put yeah, our money in different places. I enjoy living a comfortable lifestyle. You enjoy wanting to impress women with the shit you got on. I, I don't have to do that. I don't. I can go to any city and get, and do what I need to do if need be. But guess what? I'm not looking for women because I'm focused on shit well beyond that. It's more to life than pussy, bro. Mm. God damn it. Yeah, and the truth is that is the that is the thought process of most of the kids that watch us is y'all really love women to death, but y'all talk about them in such a negative way because either you're not pulling the ones you want. Oh. And, and 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 it's you know he says he likes to buy clothes ninja that's his thing you know he okay. likes to buy clothes but cool. I get and it. I like buying car parts again where where did the two worlds collide what what point are you trying to make I don't understand his that's point the problem is he you... got more money than you that's what he says I got more money than you <laughs> and somebody has more money than you like what it's not changing the world bro I still got to go to work your ass still got to go to work what, what's changing here. Mm. Does does it help your ego? Does it does it help you assert your dominance with your masculinity? Does it help you sleep at night to feel like you make more money than me? That you, to feel like you're a better man than me? If if you feel so, get a platform, or better yet, come on and have a conversation. Dun dun dun! He just invited people on hundred dollars of the cash app with a call in show. Hold on, let's let's. Oh, Greg, should we? I got let time him today, cause y'all. Oh my god, Greg, should we let him on? Let me know, Greg. There goes the call in link. Let me go get some water. Y'all don't got Phil route up. Phil, take it on. I want y'all to be successful. I, I want y'all to live well, well established, fulfilled lives. But y'all got to stop believing the bullshit, the clothes, the money, the cars. None of that shit means nothing when you're 50. All, all that you should be focused on, especially for how fucked up the economy is, the only thing you should be focused on is how to be effective with your money. And if you are getting money, you need to be putting it places where it's going to take care of you when your ass can't go to work anymore. That's what's important. That's what fucking matters. Not the gold, not none of this bullshit. I, I, just, <laughs> I just don't understand it, man. Y'all are so lost. So lost. Like, it's just, oh brother please like and and if like i said if your if your passion is in media if you have some other passion do that and go to work stop shortchanging yourself by trying to enjoy the success as you're going if you're blowing the money as you're getting it you're still standing still you're not making any real progress you have to put the work in yes work hard and enjoy life as much as you can but if you're blowing every lead of success every step that you're taking you are failing yourself and you're an idiot because you keep doing it 
Uh, I put the call in link out. Newski, you can call in and 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 give Phil a piece of your mind. I'm gonna try to stay out of it. Um, if you want to, anyone can call in. I put the call in link. Anyone can call in. Take me ibuprofen. I'm working out. My neck hurt. Man, listen. And I will back out of it. Hold on, hold on. I think that's Newski right there. Let me pull Phil out and bring in Newski. Newski. No, no. You about everybody about to see you. Hold on. Let me put you a top dog, main picture. Boom. You got the total floor, Newski. Give it up. You can hear me. I can hear you. Oh man, what's wrong with buying clothes, bro? Like, yeah. That, that, that's your defense. Is what? What's wrong with buying clothes? You know what I'm saying? TB, you said before, you waste a lot of money on hotels. Okay, I waste a lot of money on shoes. Not all my money, but it both went down the drain, you know what I'm saying? I just came on it a different way. You know what I'm saying? So, How old are like, you? I'm 25, but I'm about to be 26. Well, when I tell you stories, my stories is supposed to be to warn people not to blow the money. Thanks. Hey. The original conversation that was having was more about the uh, thought process process on how y'all take on women and having. And you said something about multiple women and you know yeah. you're to have multiple women and all that shit. I I, I fundamentally I'm, disagree with that. I mean, look, but look, I know a lot of married men. You know what I'm saying? And all of them, if they don't cheat no more, they cheated before. I mean, like, come on, man. Like, men been cheating since the beginning of the time. Like, come on, man. we all know what it is. Grandpa had pain. Why? I mean, kids across the city. It is what it is. You probably do it for a period of time, but 50 years having sex with one, one person, come on, it's not about to happen. It's just not. Come on, man. Be honest with yourself. No. We can no, try. No. We can try, but it's not likely that somebody can have sex with one person for 50 years. Come on. Come on. Well, from where you're standing at at 26 years old, I can see how that could not. Uh, yes, but men got married at like 21 back in the day. And you expect them to have such a one person into their 80? Come on, bro. Like, come on. It's just not like it. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. And a lot it's of men fact. don't. But since you are, since, see, what I learned from being a person, I've moved far away from my hometown. What I learned is these people are out there. In my hometown, I didn't see a lot of uh, examples of people who were monogamous. And you're right about that. But where I live now, I don't know no one who cheats. I mean, that, that you know of until they come out and be like, oh, he was cheating on me the whole time and we just playing cool for the internet or in public. Bro, people cheat and they don't talk about it all the time. That's you true. Don't know people, people, you don't people, know what people do on their spare time. Yeah, people could be lying. That's very that's very freaking true. But what I understand here, there isn't a culture of it. See, where we come from, there's a culture of it. It's, it's kind of like, you know, niggas go out. What's 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 worse? Because you know, I say in my dad, he been married to my mom for like 50 years. And then they plan like, um, they monogamous, but deep down he cheating. So like now I think I got to do that when I really know I can't. Because he, he, that's what he showed me, but deep down he know he didn't do it. So like it's false, like you creating a you false saying, expectation for me. So you saying your your father cheated? Yeah, and plenty of men have. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. Come on, man. Like, name somebody. I can name them getting cheated on. Like, come on, man. It is what it is. Let's just come to grips and get it. Like, you know what I mean? like, go ask your grandma. She probably got cheated on too. Probably, probably. But I will so, say, like, what are we talking yeah. about? What are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good way to look at it. But when I look at when I tell you that shame needs to come back, those are all to me are shameful acts, and they should be ashamed of those acts. Matter of fact. I, we know they were ashamed of it because you said he didn't show it to you. Kind of, you felt like he lied to you. I think that's what was taught to him was to hide it, but I don't think you have to hide it. You know what I'm so you're like, in a you're you're in a relationship now, and you openly have sex with other women. No, no, I'm not in a relationship. My girl broke up with me for cheating. You know what I'm saying. So she you lost up. your girl for cheating. Yeah, I did, but like. I try to get her to understand, like, okay, you gonna go to the next nigga, and he might do the same thing too. So you gonna keep going, dick to dick to dick. I'm trying, like, so bro. you tried to, you tried to get her <laughs> to accept that you was gonna cheat. I'm not trying to get her to accept the nothing. I told her you can stay or go out there to the streets. Either way, you are gonna be fucking multiple niggas, or you can just stay with me, bro. When they gonna get cheated on, bro? Like, let's just come on, which is monogamy bullcrap. Oh, so you think crap. you think she should have just stayed with you, even though you were having sex with other people? 
Uh, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But isn't she? Isn't her number still going up because you're fucking other people? She's still getting exposed to other people. Oh, and it, it's rules to it. Oh no, no, no. You're 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 breaking up, doggy. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, new Skionic. Man, listen. There's so much to unpack. <laughs> 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 oh, I got time today. I'm not gonna say anything, Phil. What do you think? I'm I'm not surprised by by the points he's he's choosing to stand on. I'm not surprised at all. Very childish point. Like I mean, okay. my point my point is since other people did bad shit, it's okay for you to that that's that's not a good angle to have. Right. Or because you have a few examples of, of people living a nefarious lifestyle that that's the standard for everybody else. Yeah. yeah. And that that's see, my thing is is like if you that's I can say the same thing about drug use. Yeah. I can say the same thing about you know drug use, partying, losing my job. Yeah, everybody alcohol. loses their job. Alcohol. Yeah. So I mean, I, I the reason why I just ask you younger guys questions is because the problem we have with y'all is comprehension. Yeah. And I will be what makes an older person angry when they talk to y'all is the fact that y'all don't comprehend anything. Yeah, and like I said, I I wish him all the success in the world. I do not want him to fail in any capacity. But like I said, and he you know he brought up about you know spending how you used to go to hotels or how he right. likes to buy shoes and clothes. Okay, in a vacuum, there's nothing wrong with those things. But like you said, time and time again, we're telling you this life don't last. It don't last. You're gonna get old. You're gonna stop wanting to drive as much. You know, yeah. you're gonna get to a point where you can't drive, and at that point. If you mm-hmm. take the correct steps at this stage in your life at, at, at 25, you're going to, oh my God, your life is going to be so much more miserable 25 years from now. And you're gonna, all you're going to look back and say, I should have done better with the money. And truck in 10 years. Yeah, now, really. Yeah, really 10 years. There's two ways to look at it. When I spent money on hotels, I got a tax break for them because they're business expense. Exactly. But is there times I don't look back and say, I shouldn't have did that? I do. And I always try to warn the younger people to have some understanding on what you're what you're spending, because our our industry is so volatile. You can't bank on the money. Then on top of that, you're 26. You, you're, you're good to go right now. Ten years from now, you will not feel the same. Exactly. I started at 26. Yeah. You know, I'm I started at I started at 21 and I'm 28 now, about to be 29. And I'm right. telling you that there's a there's that a 10 year mark and you just i'm like i said i got a little while to go but even at eight years in i'm man you start feeling it yeah you're and, burnt and yeah and you start the reason is you start respecting the money more because your body is not as inclined to do what it takes to get the money exactly and you become used to the money a twenty five hundred dollar check it does not do the same thing it did for me when i was 27 years no, old that man listen that's and, and mind you, this isn't this isn't, isn't coming from an arrogant perspective when we say this, but the money don't hit the same when you when you've had it. You know, no, you've no. you've made well over a hundred thousand dollars. You've been oh. up 30, 40 bands. I've been up 10, 20 bands before. Yeah. It don't when it when as the as the rich people say, that ain't no money. Like it isn't because the truth is and it checks amount. I've kept 30 grand. Yeah. And I've sat back and watched my responsibilities take it all. Oh yeah. You never keep it. No. If 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 nothing takes it, Uncle Sam takes it. Exactly. And before before we get into the whole investment conversation, I'll tell you, tell you one of the greatest investors what he said that ever ever made sense to me in the world. If you do not have 6 months worth of money to afford your entire lifestyle, you don't need to be investing. Mm. And if you're not making enough money to do that, you need to figure out how to put yourself in that position or even more to the point, reduce your lifestyle so that you can put that to the side. And that is why, Nooski, I preach modesty. Modesty. And it's not something that I just preach. It's in almost all the religious doctrines. Yeah. It's 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 why you can walk by certain people and you don't know what they have. It is because... Yeah, okay, yeah, well, you did it. Yeah, I also was younger at one time, and when I was a kid, I acted as a kid. I'm a grown-up now. I'm a grown-up now. You're not going to get me to condone your behavior. No. 
I'm not going to condone it because it's nothing to be condoned about. You not you have an inability to stick to one woman. That's cute in your 20s. That's just not cute when you get in your 30s and 40s, bro. Now have your fun, have your fun. You're single, you're single, but don't enter into a relationship if you're not ready to to not be single. If you say what it sounds like, you just want to be single. Just be single. And that's fine. Live your life. Fine. Live your life. Be single. Do the whole nine. That's all fun. But when you start getting into the situation where you're responsible for another human being, it is not cute anymore. I have to tell my cousins and brothers that all the time. That shit is cute at 25, 26. That shit is not cute at 35 years old. And you probably won't believe me, but you will be 35 years old. You will be older eventually and eventually those things you will realize this is shameful shit i shouldn't be doing it and another thing it costs money yeah and Being, especially especially in our industry I, I to this day i cannot believe i've been doing it as long as i have like i still vividly remember getting my license bro i cannot believe eight years has just gone by yeah 11. you know you know 11 for me and i just be wanting to hold on phil I just be wanting to explain that to y'all. And I I just feel like y'all don't really understand what I'm trying to say. And I don't, I make it a point to, I want, I want you to understand that you're going to have your fun. You're going to have your fun. I don't want you to think you're not going to have your fun, but number one, you're not going to think what I think, Mooski, because we're not peers. You're not supposed to think like me because you're. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from you, bro. Like, like I just gave him my apartment. I'm living out the truck about two years, bro. I'm trying to stack a lot of money, bro. Like, right. I don't like all them designer shoes I got, bro. That's two years old, bro. Like, I didn't been did that. I'm 26, bro. Like, I don't buy that stuff no more. I just had a kid last year, bro. I don't buy none of that stuff no more. All that stuff y'all seen, that's two years old, bro. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. You done had a kid. Yeah, I had a kid, bro. Like, oh no, the conversation changes, Noose. You know this conversation just changed up now. Man, bro, y'all like everybody on Instagram think that stuff new. Bro, I best stop buying design. That stuff don't mean nothing to me, I bro. Feel like, you, but do you comprehend what I'm saying? That's the problem bro, I have with people. Your I comprehend age. everything you're saying, but it's hard to do that through the chat. You know what I'm saying, like, I listen a lot, bro. I learn a lot from you. You know what I'm saying? I do, bro. Right. It might, it might look like I'm hard-headed. I'm not hard-headed. I'm not stupid, bro. No, what, you are is no con- what you are is a conversational contrarian. That's what you are. And a lot of people are. Y'all oh, get, get off on being the opposite of whatever someone is saying. No, but I really think like that, bro. I really think, like, all people, most people, too, not 99%. Like, that ain't just trying to be on the opposite. I really think it. And yeah. I probably could prove it. Yeah. I mean, it's it, like you said, you can't, you, you can't, you don't know what no one's doing. So there's no way to prove it. You don't know yes. what they're doing. How are you going to prove it? I know. No, I'm saying go on internet. Ask the woman, bro. The woman will tell you that most of you. Okay. I ain't tell you true. This. Internet is not a representation of the population. But I'm saying even my sister, she got cheated on. My mother, she got cheated on. Like, come okay. on. This is my personal life. I feel too. you, but that's that's not enough. But okay, it, it's listen, it's not enough for you to cite for ninety nine percent of the world. That's not enough people, bro. Your mom not, got cheated on. Your sister got cheated on. There is three hundred million people in America, bro. That doesn't. That's not a drop in a bucket. Hey, check this out. The the black community is a bunch of baby dads, baby mamas. That's not monogamy, bro. Having two, three, five baby, baby mm-hmm. mamas is, is not monogamy. Right, right. But the people you're on the phone with don't have two, six, seven baby mamas. I don't have two baby mamas. Phil doesn't have I, two baby mamas. But that don't mean you're, you're monogamous. You probably are now after a year of being a damn hoe. I mean, oh, it's I mean, definitely more than one year of hoeing. That's true. But like that's I tell you, but peep game, that's when you're young. When I was 26 in your age, I'm not going to say I felt like you. I'm saying that I talk to a lot of women, yes. But what you're supposed to be understanding is that time comes to an end. You're supposed to stop doing that at some point. I mean, probably, but I know old men who get it in too, bro. They, they, they going to stop working. I feel you. And that act, I'm telling you, that act is shameful. Just because they're doing it don't make it right. And that's true, like, like I'm 26. I used to be all in a woman. Bro, I don't care about women no more. more like, I only had sex like one time, two, three times a month, bro. Like, I've been in the world getting money. <laughs> you only had sex I, two, three times a month. I don't masturbate no more. I used to masturbate every day. Too much information, but like, I used to do that shit every day, bro. Semen retention like, is a good conversation. It's a way, it's a I, way for people to understand and have control over their sexuality. I agree. Yeah, like, 
But what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is 10 years from now, because I, I was 26 when I got my license. 10 years from now, you will feel completely different. I'm just explaining that to you. Number one, you're not going to want to sit in that seat for that much longer after 10 years. Right now, you feel good. Look at you. You feel good. Your back is good. You're chilling. Your health is right. Your skin is clear. You haven't had testicular torsion yet. That comes from getting in and out of that seat. Eventually, your lower back, you're losing lower back muscles. You're not going to feel the same way, bro. You're going to feel different. And what we're trying to prepare you for is when the difference comes, you won't be confused, bro. Yeah, TV, I took your advice. From you, started, you started talking about nonsense. I'm like, man, that is true. I gave my apartment. I told my baby mama, hey, I'm, I'm going to be there on the weekend. And I'm gonna, I said my baby mama, like, 600 a month of child support. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no, I let go of my apartment. I don't buy no designers. I'm about to go, like, two, three years and be living out of the truck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? Saying, like, you know what the- you know what's going to change your mind? What? And I want you to remember this Remember this saying that I'm about to give you. A capable, honest woman. And right now you're in the position where you hardly believe that shit exists. But the truth is, it does exist. And when you get a decent example of this, you're not going to feel that way. Nah, bro. My big mama, she's the best woman ever. She, she, but she's an RN. Yes, I did. She's an RN. She's a great mm-hmm. one. She cook clean. Right. Bro, so why did you cheat on her? It's too many beautiful women out here, bro. It's so crazy. let me get this right. You said she's perfect. <laughs> she cooks she's clean. Perfect. She uh, has a decent job. But okay. you were weak in your sexuality and you fuck somebody else. Or, or that's just my nature. No, nigga. No, no. You don't TV, get to do TV. that. When, when a fly woman walk by, I got to look. I feel you. I feel you. That means you I are weak it. in your. That, listen, you are weak in your sexuality. Y'all call it weak. I call it. it no, it's there's nature. The, bro, bro. There's a lot of temptations in life. Some you're weak to. Some you're not. Like me, I'm weak to cupcakes. I can't say no to a good honey bun. That is a weakness. See, my problem with the new age world is we have to call it what it is, bro. It's a weakness. Right. It's weak. Yeah, it doesn't right. mean you are a weak man. It means there's a sector of life that a maxi dress can get you caught up. You like maxi dress, like you. It just is what it is. This is what your thing. Right. What you right. have to do now, what you have to do now, is know that this is a weakness and particularly work on this weakness. That's all that means. And, and I've been working on it a lot, man. I've been working on it a lot, but like. I don't know, bro. It's just being monogamous and in a relationship. I don't know. I feel trapped, bro. Like, it ain't, I want to be an ancient nigga. I take care of all my, I, I take care of all the bills, everything, bro. It's just being one woman, bro. I don't know. Something about that makes me feel like I'm trapped, bro. I you know, know the, main, the main reason why you can is because right now is because of your hormones. That, okay, so is the reason why men be monogamous is because they uh, testosterone goes down or they want to? That is a big factor, yes. Okay, so that means they just don't have the energy for it. I don't mean they don't want to do no, it. It's not energy. Testosterone is going to fuck. The hormones are going to fuck with your desire. Right now, you are compromised. Oh, you ever see the old dudes that be in the movies and they, they'll have like a fucking, uh, like a coin collection or some shit? And yeah. they'll just be old dudes. What it is, when your testosterone goes down, you have more time to think about things you want to get done other than sex. This is going to leave. Matter of fact, you're about to have a big testosterone jump in the next three years. You're going to be, t- once you hit 29, your testosterone yeah. is going to drop. And you're not going to, let me tell you something, bro. And this is going to sound crazy, but to hear me out, you're going to be less interested in sex. I'm less interested now. I, I'm less, and I don't know, bro. I'm less interested now. And in like, bro, like, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do none of that stuff, bro. Like, what the stuff you talk about? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm already on that stuff, bro. Like, I but, listen to everything. So let me explain this to you from a strategic standpoint. No, you think that you ain't shit. I don't apply a morality to it. The only morality problem is if you're in a committed relationship and you're lying about what you're doing. Then it's a morality problem. But you're single right now. I get that. You're single. I'm trying to get my girl back. I'm trying to get my girl back right now, but I understand. But this is this is the problem. When your testosterone drops and your chemistry in your brain changes a little bit, you're going to have different priorities. Look at it from a strategic standpoint. Your sexuality is a security risk. It is what it is, bro. That is how people extract money out of men. 
That's how we litigate towards men. Because if you do something wrong with your sexuality and hit the right, the wrong vagina, they can pull money out of you. You may get someone pregnant. They can pull money out of you. But they your wife can do that too. Yeah, that, that, true. That's still a security risk. But what I'm telling your you... Your wife can make you go broke just as much as the size. Dude, this is the problem with people your age. You have a problem with comprehension. I'm trying to tell you something and you can't get it. Listen to what I'm saying. If your wife could do that to you too, how do you think it's better to multiply the security risk by another woman? That means you would only deal with one woman if you felt that way, because I don't need to have five security risks, right? I mean, yeah, I can't argue that. Yeah, that's funny, bro. But that maxi dress with the white toes walking down the street, you can't seem to say no to the shit. That's a weakness, my nigga. It's a weakness. No, I say no every day. It's just, <laughs> I want to try. I want to try. And, Yo. <laughs> come on, TV, bro. Uh, how, long you been, how long you been married? I've been married now six years. All right, so do you think you can go another 26? I think I can go another 50 with just her. With just her. Oh, man. All right. Hey, and let, I, let, me tell you, you. let me tell you some shit. At this point where I sit right now, I desire no other woman. Yeah. If Let me tell you something. If Rihanna came in here butt-ass naked, I wouldn't hit it. I would, tell, I, I would tell her to leave. Get out of here. I mean, I mean, but you didn't even work for it. You want something you can work for anyway. No. No, it has nothing to do with it. I have, I, I am in a complete understanding that I am where I'm supposed to be. I don't desire other women. I don't look for other women. When I see them, I can tell that looks good, but it's not something I want to have sex with. No, I want to have sex with my old lady and my old lady only. I'm good, bro. Now, listen, when I was 26, I was running around. I, I talked to a couple chicks. That's true. But I also at 20, uh, at, at 28, I went celibate for two years and didn't have sex with nobody. Right. We, why did I do that? Because it was an act and an experiment on my willpower. That's why right. I can say that was a, I had a weakness. That's a weakness, bro. If it hurts you, which sex with multiple people hurts you, it's it a weakness. You have to stop it doing do. it eventually. It do. I mean, look. It's bad size for everybody. Having sex with multiple women, it, it do mess your mind up, but Sometimes they got men who've been married for 20 years and their wife don't give them sex. So, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you gotta pick your poison sometimes. Ain't no poison you know picking. <laughs> and look, Listen, women, if... women want new dick sometimes too, bro. It ain't just us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what you're so not like, understanding. Don't be, is... like, don't be like men is the dog. They got women out here cheating every day. But see, but see, if a men do not discuss what women do because we control men. What do I give a shit about what hoes do? See, in my era, hoes didn't get any conversation. In y'all era, that's all y'all talk about. I ain't saying hoes. I'm talking about wives. Wives, wives I don't have... Who do the boxing dude, stuff. I don't have multiple wives. That's not my interest. I have one, okay? The only person we care about who's on the phone with us right now is Newski. What you're worrying about is what is a liability to Newski. What wives are doing in their person, that ain't your business. What do you right. do that affects you? And what you do is when you hit a chick, you open yourself up for security risk and liability. That's it. That's how it goes. When you get to court, they don't give a shit what a wife does because we know they went in court, right? Yeah. You got to worry about you, my brother, and your actions. So if your girl or wife cheats on you, what state do you live in, Georgia? That's uh, Texas. Texas. You live in Texas. If your wife cheats on you, it cuts what she gets from you by 75% in the state of Texas because you can prove she cheated. You need to understand what helps yeah, you. I know that. I know that. I yeah. That. So who cheated yeah. factors in in court. So you're supposed to be trying to keep your shit to yourself. So when you get there and you put your pamphlet down, I'm clean, your honor. I don't have sex with a lot of women. I don't, and then you'll say shit like this. She abandoned the marriage. That means that drops what she can get from you. She brought other men into the so-and-so. That drops what she can get from you. She had this man around my kids. That drops her being able to get sold custody. See, you got to know that shit. Fuck what bitches is doing. That's what I'm trying to explain. Before you make a move, you have to think, how does this hurt me? If she fuck her shit up, that's her. So we're going to focus on what Newsy's going to get done. Newsy's going to save his money. Newsy's going to learn how to not be swayed by hot buns in the street. 
Nusi's going to figure out what to do next with his career. Nusi's going to make sure his credit is in correct order. Nusi's going to make sure his taxes are in correct order. So when, let's say you're old, you're, you get rid of your baby mama, you stop messing with her, and you get in front of a full-fledged grown woman with her own place, her own degree, her own money, her own credit, are you presenting to her a dude with multiple baby mamas in a sexual problem? Are you going to be presented to her as somebody that is comparable? That's the question. Because if she comes to you and you say everybody cheats, what the fuck is that, bro? That's not a <laughs> that's not a true statement. She's gonna be like, why do you think that? Come on, bro. You there's women out there that may like Newski that is oh. going that's going to be a, a, a freaking litigate that's gonna be a Supreme Court judge, and you can freaking turn her off because you believe all women ain't shit and they cheat. I offer more than money, but like I give my life to a woman. I give my right. I I'll go cheat and come home and somebody break in the house, I'll get my life and die. That's irrelevant. I, That's an irrelevant no, statement. No, it do. That's an irrelevant statement. It do matter because like, I would really die for my family. See, Even it though I cheated, bro, it I, don't I, matter. I would really die for them, though. Newski, that's irrelevant. That don't matter. That has nothing. One thing has nothing to do with the other. I think it do. You think it do because it serves your point. But I'm telling no, you, it doesn't. I know. No. Like, I explained to my baby mom, I'm like, all right, I got home cheating, but what is my breaking the house and I die protecting me? Was I loyal or not? She was like, oh, oh yeah, I was, I, you know what I'm saying? They like, no, because you were cheating. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look. Bro, you are open your old lady. Me. Let me tell you why that doesn't matter, because you'll die for her if someone breaks in the house, but you're also exposing her to HIV. Come on, man. That's the truth. Dusky, what do you call no. it? It's the truth. Why they have to go to the worst extremist stuff? You went to somebody breaking in and murdering you. I'm That's not the extreme. That every is time I'm out with my woman, every time I'm out with my woman, I would die for her. Bro, you're you're not comprehending again. How can you tell her? Way. How can you tell her you will die for her, but you're having sex with unsanctioned pussy that can kill you and her? It ain't unsanctioned, bro. I don't have sex with prostitutes, bro. It's unsanctioned I'm if it ain't your old lady, bro. I'm safe about what I do. You're not safe if you're having sex with someone other than your old lady. That's not safe. This is what I'm trying to tell you. What you're doing is you're twisting words to match your narrative. That's not how life works. If you have a woman you're supposed to be with, you're not supposed to be having sex with nobody else. I right, yeah, that sounds good. But people don't do it. But like, all right, what do people got to do with Newski? What you tell granddad who had oh my god a family across the town? Yeah, well, what, what you tell him? Granddad had multiple baby mamas, but he's a great man. He's a never. Good man. Never. My granddad was not a great man. My granddad was a pedophile. Man, chill. And, no, I'm going to tell you the truth. My granddad knocked my grandmother up when she was 16 and he was 60. He was a sick bastard. Man, bro, come on, man. 16, bro, she can have a baby. Though. Yeah, that, that, a 12 year old can have a baby. So you saying you'll do a 12 year old? Oh, yeah. come on, man. Don't, don't do I'm that. Following I'm saying, your logic, Newski. We're following your logic. No, but what I'm saying is, God made it to where whenever a woman can produce a period, she can have right. a baby. It That's 11, 12 years old. And the law doesn't make it right, though. Cause <laughs> so you're and, you're making a case for screwing a 12 year old. That's what you're doing. No, no. You said 16. I'm talking about 16. And some say 16 is illegal. True. So, I even better file probably in that state, but not this state. Right. Yeah, so like, you call it whatever you want to call it. You had sex with a 16-year-old and you're 60. You're a pedophile. That's disgusting. I, mean, I guess, bro. I guess, bro. Ain't no guessing, nigga. Guess. It is what it is, bro. It's what it is. See, my bro, problem... A pedophile is people who like children. A fucking 16-year-old is then a grown motherfucker. A 16-year-old can't buy cigarettes or vote. She's a child. See, man, we going back to the laws, bro. The laws don't like make it right. The law, right? nigga. They are... Dude, you're not even... Your, your frontal lobe is not even developed until you're in your 20s. She's 16. She's a child, bro. That's a kid. I, I, how old was your granddad when he had um, the baby? He was 60. Yeah. Wait, wait, I mean, wait. He was yeah. Old? yeah. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, man, yeah. context matters. Context yeah, matters. Yeah. But here goes context the truth. It, it don't. If you're, if, you're, if you're humping a 16-year-old and you're an adult, you're getting a charge most of the time. But here's my problem. Here's my problem with this. You, most of y'all want to twist words to match what you think it should be. Here's the flat out rule. When you have sex with a woman, you open yourself up to litigation, liability, and security risk. There's no way to talk your way out of that. You also open yourself up to dying because pussy can kill you. Last thing, TV. Last thing, TV. All right. Oh, are, you you wanna, are, are you going to address the fact that 
plenty of men waste like a lot of money and they fuck up their lives getting married to the wrong woman? No, because I don't give a fuck about plenty of men. That that has nothing to do oh, with you. God. Bro, getting married to the wrong woman can fuck your life up more than fucking with old, bro. Bullshit. Yes, Bullshit. Yes. Bullshit. Bullshit. Plenty of men go broke with divorce. Bullshit. They go broke with child support. Bro, they go bro. broke. Their women men, who have, their men who have problems with child support usually are not married, and it's by multiple women. That's not a married man problem. That's a single man problem. So basically, it's no dark side to get married. It's just all good. No, there's a dark side to waking up in the morning. Some people die when they have a bowel movement in the morning. Some people die walking down the steps. That does not fix your problem. That doesn't fix your point. That's the thing I want to say. Y'all only say the good stuff about marriage. I don't hear nobody talking about the real like, oh, it got, tough, it, it got tough for five years. And there's 5,000 5, po- 5, podcasts that talk about women being shitty. That makes no sense. That statement is untrue. Well, I don't get into the women and the men beef, bro. Like, I think we both do that. Right? Yeah, we both do wrong, but what does that have to do with you? That's what I'm saying. That's not what you're saying, bro. Newski, what you're trying to do, listen to me. This is what you're trying to do. You're trying to say, I do this, but it ain't really that bad because everybody cheats. That's what you're doing. That's childish, bro. That's not taking responsibility for your actions. So, like, you don't believe in nature? I believe in nature, yeah. Okay, so why can a man have as much babies as he he can and a woman can Mm -hmm. have one a year? Hey, man, I don't know. Can you put that to me on why it's like that? I, I, I don't understand why that is, and I don't understand in what context does that have to do with your actions. I'm saying I can have sex and have babies every right. damn day if I want to. Mm-hmm. I only can, can have one. You could also smoke crack every day. Come on, man, bro. Like, right? I, I just that fact that I said about... I, I hear what I, you're I saying, and I'm, 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 I'm putting you up with the fact that you could also smoke crack. You could also do fentanyl. You can also do heroin. You're not doing none of those, though, which right. means what? You have the... You have the you, see, when you bring up nature, most, most animals don't know they're alive. You have what they call sentience. You know you're alive, right? Yeah. You know what hurts you. So why aren't you taking fentanyl? Why don't you take heroin? Come oh, on, man. That's stupid, bro. No, what you, having sex with multiple women and but open yourself to litigation is stupid. So is fentanyl. What's the difference? Why don't you just take fentanyl and get it done quick? Well, I'm talking about since the beginning of time. Bro. I'm talking. The U.S. ain't been around long, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. talking about thousands and thousands of years. Men been right. having multiple women. I'm not talking about just the U.S. Okay, but you don't have multiple ben. women. They had multiple women that they took care of. You're not in a position to take care of multiple women. I never said I was. Yeah, but why are you having sex with multiple women then? Because <laughs> they're giving it. <laughs> See, there you go. Your, your, your argument falls apart. You're not taking responsibility for these women you're having sex with. And I'm trying to get my money up so I can do that. So you can have multiple women to take your money. No, they ain't gonna take my money. I don't, I, don't take I don't money. mess with chicken heads. I don't mess with chicken heads. Bro, you do mess with chicken heads. If, if a lady's dealing with you and you're allowed to have multiple women, she's a chicken head, bro. I just said she left me. Who left you? The girl who has my baby. Okay. And she puts you, she she puts you in a position to have to pay child support. You had to pay her child support. I mean, like not through the courts, like we have an agreement. Yeah, you're just taking care of your responsibility. I mean, yeah, that's and my you, son. Like. Right, right. And you think it's smart to have sex with other women and possibly have more kids and have to send them money? Man, bro, look, look, the black population is going real under, bro. We need more kids. Bro, that has yeah. nothing to do with what we're talking about. It does. It does. No, it doesn't. It no, does. you have. Does. Look, Nuski, you have to understand. That you just made a statement that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I asked you a direct question. You I'm think saying. it's okay? You think it's okay to have sex with multiple women and have to pay them too? That's okay. Okay, and if you can have sex with your wife, and bro, like, right? Either way, right. either way, you're gonna pay, bro. I, I, you I hear pay you. with your wife, or you gonna pay with a side piece? Right, right. So, bro, either way, it costs. This is basic multiplication. Am okay, I in a so, better? Listen, am I in a better situation paying one woman? Or am I in a better situation paying three women? That's case by case. <laughs> you niggas get on my fucking nerve. Listen, news, no, I got to move on. Bro. I got to move on, doggy. I can't sit here right here with you. I can't. Now, I want you to listen back at this video. I want you to send this portion of the video to your father and see what he has to say. I got to let you go. We'll do it again next week, okay? We'll do it again next week. And this is my problem with young people. Man. It's hard. It's hard. And what, what makes it so bad is I be getting lumped in with, with this mentality. I'm so, I'm not saying I'm better, but I just, I've been through it already. I think differently now. It didn't it's, take me long to figure it out. 
it, the problem with young people is this. They believe that they are good conversationalists and they're terrible at it. It is it's terrible. You cannot tell me that you believe what you're saying. What you're really doing is you're flipping your words to never lose a, never lose a debate, but you're not making sense. I've never seen someone duck accountability so hard. Oh, I've seen it a hundred times. Like, it's just, <sighs> listen, and mind, mind you, I had to learn this too. But it, the hardest thing for people my age and people of the, the mid to late 90s is to accept their accountability and accept that they be on bullshit. Because, like you said, people will, will bend these nuances and these points to fit their narrative to justify the shit that they be on when it, at the end of the day, it's all bullshit. It's You're all lying bullshit. to yourself. It does not help your life. It does not benefit you. You are putting yourself at risk. You're creating unnecessary drama, problems, and stress. This is why people be dying at 40. Because you've been stressed out for 30 years for shit right. that you could have avoided in the first place. Right. Because the truth is, you're supposed to stay with your baby mama. That's it. You're supposed to stay with your baby mama and not cheat. RN, look up what RN's uh, a top RN makes. Oh, I can major tell you that. My, my sister is actually studying that right now. Yeah. Look up a top RN. What is she making a okay. major city? Okay. Let's see. RN top income. Oh, okay. So we can just go down the list. So. Top 10 paying nurse jobs, CRNA. Oh my God. Wow. I mm -hmm. that number just made me uncomfortable. Give me the number. Ooh, CRNA makes $214,000 a year. So what Newski did, because he's still watching, Newski is with a woman in five, six years, is going to be making 130. In 10, she's going to be making 220. He left her. For butt cheeks because it looked good and he believed men shouldn't be monogamous. Yeah. And even at entry level, they're coming in at 70,000. This is what you need to do, Newski. You need to show her this video. You need to go back to her. You need to say sorry. You need to make nice and you need to get back with your baby mom because you left a winner. You left a winner for sex. And you're not going to tell me that's not a weakness. That's a weakness, bro. And then 10 years from now, you're going to be like, oh, these chicks don't want no money. Your chick's on a path to $220,000 a year in a field where they have basically no one to read. Like, it is so needed. Oh, absolutely. And even if she doesn't hit the top scale, she's still clearing 100. She's two, still at 110, years. 120. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. And all you had to do was do the right fucking thing. And you couldn't let go of the butt cheeks. 200. Let me tell you something. You're not going to make more money than her no. for the CDL. Because un unlike our field, as her tenure increases, so will her money. So will her money. So and, and the truth is, she don't have to pay for fuel to get that money. That's, that's W two off the dick. That's, that's to, the, to, the, to the to the house. <laughs> to the house. <laughs> and you left that for sex, man. And but I'm the simp. Jeez, let's go. <laughs> you gave up two hundred and twenty thousand dollars for vagina, but I'm a simp though. Right. And the fact that he can't believe that men can actually be monogamous for multiple decades is it's crazy. insanity. He says, I'm I'm going to get my baby mama back, TB. I'm going to make it right. You best shit. You better. I, I, yeah. You better. Yeah. You better. You need to show her this video. You need to go. You need to go back and say, I am talking to dudes that are older than me. I'm following a better path and I'm going to try to make this right. She wants to be with the father of her child. But you can't seem to get your shit together because you're why sitting up watching Sigma MGTOW bullshit telling you about what shit was 200,000 years ago before the wheel was made. It has nothing to do with your life now. You you a good one. Why well, go home, slobbed her ass up. Boy, I what? put another one in her. Bah! Man, Fuck bro. you mean? You mad for a while. To my playing characters, I'm walking in the house right. with a mask on. Right. <laughs> Talking about let's play cops and robbers. <laughs> right. Right. All <laughs> type of weird freaky shit. <laughs> Whips, yeah. chains, handcuffs, all of that. Yeah. If you were smart, <laughs> if you were smart, you would go get a hazmat haul fuel right next to the house if you knew better. But you don't home. know. That. You tagging don't. butt three times a week. And you letting her just walk around. And you got her at 60 grand. Oh man, you could plant the seed and ride off to a 30 year, two hundred thousand dollar year situation. But you yeah. too fucking hard headed. And with and good and with good retirement investment, and oh. I'm not talking about buying investment, I'm talking about paying retirement through your career. Whole health free. Yeah. 
healthcare. Right, or otherwise, free. putting into a 401k, you can retire a millionaire if you lock in for 30 years. Healthcare is free at the hospital. You just yeah. eat the shit. You could probably ride on her insurance. Oh my God. And be getting the top dollar, top doctor. Like, you know what's none of real that funny? public health. You yeah. know what's real funny is that he says, Oh, well, you know, you could you could get with this chick and uh and she could take all your money. Nigga, you're gonna be the one getting alimony if you divorce this girl. That's a fact. That you lose nothing. She's the Listen. one that's in liability because you're never gonna make as much as her. Listen, Kendrick Lamar made an entire album about it. That you know, morale and the big steppers, that was about his lust addiction. Mm. and how he had to redeem himself and even to this day i still don't think his woman trust him all the way and they got multiple children together and i think they're married but point being niski I'm, I'm gonna tell you some real shit go home <laughs> yeah go home say sorry go find a ring and tell her you're gonna make it right because you're fucking up you're yeah. fucking up big you you gonna, you gonna come out here and you know what kind of bullshit you gotta go through to see two hundred thousand dollars to your account and trucking Shit, bro. And, 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 and you can marry this girl and be living on a two hundred thousand dollar lifestyle plus you making a hundred off the fuel hauling. Y'all be making three hundred thousand dollars a year. Living the dream, bro. And if you live modest, oh my God, you can have Man. an unlimited lifestyle. If you I'm talking about if you I mean, mind you, I don't know what your living situation is now, but if if it is a little outlandish, if you cut your bill, you already said you got rid of your apartment, so y'all can stay together wherever she's staying at. Right. You only visit there once in a while. Right. Okay. Buzz down on the money and just God, man. It'd be them niggas in a good what I would what bullshit. I would give to have a reliable partner like that. Nigga, Still gonna I steal your old lady, man. He's gonna oh, steal your baby mama. Nigga, I, I, I Oh, I could oh, I could tell you where to put this money, baby. We could, oh my god, we going to Paris, we going to Australia, yeah. we going to the hideaway spots here in America that I ain't gonna name, but if mm. you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like it's places y'all ain't heard of, even in this country. Oh, this fool boy. said he, feel, he feels trapped, and his baby mama on the path to make two hundred thousand. You know what I have to say, and I, I'm glad you brought that back up. You know what I have to say about people that say they feel like being trapped. You just don't like her, bro. Just mm. tell the truth. You're not trapped. You just don't like her for real, and you need to figure out why you don't. Because clearly, based on what you're saying, she's a good woman, or she's she's solid enough. Nobody's perfect. I'm not saying she doesn't have her her qualms and issues, but clearly, she's a, a decent woman. You had a kid with her for crying out loud. You need to figure out why you don't like her, and if you can get over that. And if you can't get over that, leave her alone. Raise your children and leave her alone, bro. As simple as this, you're gonna be sad in ten years <laughs> when you, when you have to go pick your kid up. And you pull into that southern gated community. Oh, you're gonna be mad for three years. And you just I mean it, it's security, my the security guard gotta let you in. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. The most of y'all on here talking this superman rhetoric, you fuckers are in oh, that wait, situation, wait, bro. Wait, 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 wait. He says she's making nine thousand. I don't think you bullshitting. See, that's you believing what he says. I don't I don't do that with him because okay, he can say enough. anything for a rise out of somebody. What I'm saying right. is this. You need to go home, cancel all of your websites with Chasing Pussy. And you need to go home and figure out how to be monogamous ASAP. Yeah. That's what you need to be doing. And you need to stay with her even if her booty spread. <laughs> you need to be. Hey, you, ain't nothing wrong with a little wide butt. <laughs> you, need to be, you need to be walking her fat ass in the IHOP, baby, Listen. all the way. And you worrying about what other niggas is doing and bitches in the street. You tripping. These bitches don't even know how to read. <laughs> You're you not lying. You fucking they can't spell, things. can't read. Oh, oh. that's crazy. Insane. I'm, we going to end live on that. Yeah. Because we got other shit to do. We sure do. And we probably going to be stepping today. Oh, yeah. Got to get it in. Uh, on the uh, Way to Fly uh, uh, stepping channel. We're going to be stepping on there. And we ain't got time up here fighting with Newski, who's living the fucking dream. It's always you lucky some bitches, but all oh, y'all make me so angry, bro. Man, you make bro. me so angry. I, I didn't mean to go off. I'm, I'm sorry for my outburst. I got beside myself today. Still going to get you, baby mama. He going to find it all. Listen. <laughs> and he ain't going to be caking. Let me tell you what, he going to be caking. That's a whole different conversation. What? <laughs> As as DC Young Fly said, if I get another partner, ooh, I know what to do with it. I know mm -hmm. what to do with it. Listen, don't do it, bro. We got a guy here. We be hanging out with y'all. We didn't get one. Let me. You know, it's funny on YouTube. They 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 give cash app. Mm -hmm. They don't fuck with us like that on here. We don't get no cash apps on. Yeah, here. that's that's interesting. It's interesting. It's cool because we talking. We talking. It's like school. 
But it's all love. We already 5,000. We just trying to tell y'all not to do drugs. Noosey, go home, eat that butt. <laughs> go home and eat that butt. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do it. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon. I happened to come across a video of a very good YouTuber by the name of Trucker Brown. He's a YouTuber that specializes in trucking. Again, a very niche market, but he does quite well on the platform. Give him a round of applause. Hey guys, this is Just Phil TV coming to you from the Trucker Report, exclusively on Rumble with Trucker Brown. You know where to hit it, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Find us exclusively on Rumble if you want to catch these episodes live.